Well, hello there, everyone. Sorry it's been a while, but welcome back to the Skip Games Too Much channel here. We're back playing the most modded server on Rust. Project Lazarus, Hardcore, the Daisy Rust mod. Okay, guys, we're spawning on the beach here. We're back to some work. This is gonna be a full wipe of me solo, just trying to get at it. You guys don't understand what I'm saying? Just, just grind every day so we can get some raids, try to get much more PvP than we've ever had, right? That's my promise to you guys, much more action, all right? So, like I said, just spawn on the beach, let's get it started. All right, guess it's time to start my long walk here. I've uh, picked a spot, but it's very, very far away, so let's see uh, what we can do on the way there. As this video starts too, I gotta remind you guys, uh, this isn't the normal mode that you see other streamers play, like Brit or whatever, who says it's the most modded server. He always plays on the original mode, not the hardcore one. So for example, he doesn't need nails to build twig or cement to build stone or sheet metal components to build sheet metal walls. Uh, nothing against him, just this is the hardcore version, okay guys? Early game clothes are big because right now you notice my inventory slots are very limited. As soon as I put on this shirt, right, I got way more inventory slots. So it's really important that you got a shirt and pants on at least all the time because that'll give you at least a full inventory. Running around with no slots is horrible. Right now, just trying to get anything I can from these barrels and the wrecks along the road to sell the outpost. Try to get, uh, you know, basic hammer stuff like that so I can get a base started right away and start storing stuff. It's kind of your first priority, I feel like, playing on this server. So while I'm selling what meager possessions I have here for pennies, I uh, just want to let you guys know that, uh, yeah, all this audio is voiced over at the end. I uh, can't get my recorder to pick up my audio while I'm playing. My microphone works just fine, as you can see, but for some reason, NVIDIA just won't capture my personal audio. If I play with other friends, it'll capture theirs even. So if anybody knows what setting that is, please let me know in the comments or send me a message on Discord. There you go, you see how all that grayed out stuff in my inventory is gone now? It's all you need, a cloth, shirt, and pants. Another cool feature of the server is the bank system, so I was saying how cash is really important. Now you can stash a certain amount of cash away all the time so nobody can steal it from you or raid it from your base, right? So I'm running through the night, through the forest, picking up cocaine leaves and poppy seeds and all kinds of different things like that every time I pick something up if you look in the top left I'm gaining a little bit of experience so on this server yeah you gain levels for doing stuff killing bots breaking barrels mining rocks uh, looting chests all kinds of stuff like that and that gives you bonuses every time you level up you get some kind of bonus so it's huge for leveling up really big especially in the later levels good thing I'm so poor and Heli won't even bother me right now This map is actually like really big. It's taking me a while to run across. My main goal is to get to my base bot ASAP, but I'm trying to collect some stuff along the way as long as it doesn't slow me down too much. I'm actually getting some random base building supplies and even some cement, some nails, uh, components. So hopefully when I get to the outpost near where I want to build my base, I can get anything I need and put down the starter right away. It was super handy having a horse this early, uh, to be honest though there was quite a few just sitting out on the roads and out in the fields and stuff, it seems like they spawn pretty regularly on this server. Alright, you can see I hit some barrels, I traveled far on the horse, okay, you get it? I showed enough clips of me hitting barrels. Alright, here we are, we're finally at the southern outpost, right next to where I want to build my base, alright, and it's time to sell my junk to see what we get. So what you're going to see here is a, a bridge version. I'm going to skip ahead all the time as much as I can throughout this whole video. Like when I'm selling stuff, all kinds of things. I'm going to cut out every little thing I can because otherwise the selling system's a little funny and I can't tell what I have sometimes. I go through it multiple times just trying to cut it all out. So after selling all that stuff, I go buy a door, go buy a hammer, you know, basic stuff. After buying that stuff, I kind of wish I had a little bit more money, and then I remembered I had some in the ATM still. So, go do a little withdrawal, and uh, let's get back to doing some shopping. Just 
I buy another two sheet metal doors here, and then I head off to finally put down my little starter. I realize at this point I'm probably going to need some wood. Considering I don't have any stone, I really don't have any cement. Uh, it's going to have to be a starter made out of wood. Not the greatest idea, but I need a base. I need somewhere to store my loot. I don't know why I always do this. I tend to uh, build my starters into a cliff, the side of a cliff, just to make it so you know you can't read through one wall. But then my plan is to always, you know, make a different base somewhere else. But my starter always turns into my main and ends up being some janky mess. So here we go. Damn it, ran out of nails. So I can't upgrade any of this to actual wood without them. I guess I'll place everything I can and uh, let's go buy some or make some money. Alright, so we gotta move quickly here. We're leaving everything pretty undefended while I try to seal this thing up, okay? And there's gunshots, that's always good. Getting a sleeping bag is kinda nice because you can't craft them or beds. But the sleeping bag on this server is a one-time use thing. It destroys itself. If you manage to get a bed and uh, you use it, it's a 15 minute cooldown on your bed. Much different server. All right, I broke some stuff really close to the base. I'm gonna take it back to the outpost, see if we can sell it, buy some nails, plus whatever, anything else we need. Damn, that's crappy money. I'll have to do for now though. Okay, I guess that's all the nails we can get for now. Let's run back and see if we can uh, seal something in. Okay, okay, sweet, we made it back. Let's build this thing up. All right, I got everything from the TC. How much can we get done? All right, we got one sealed door and a wood one by one. Uh, we're gonna have to go back out right away again here. Good, we got our bag down too. Nice little temporary spawn. Saves us one very long walk if we die. I had like 300 bucks left at my base. Apparently that I didn't bring last time, so I got some more nails. And just running back with it. Alright, we're back doing some more upgrading here. Uh, still, still just not enough. I'm um, just kind of in a hurry here. I'm relearning the server. Alright guys, this is a very different server. I haven't played it in months. And uh, I'm also on a little bit of a time crunch, okay? I, I only have a few hours to play before I had to go to work. Uh, so I'm trying to get the base secure, any base secure, somewhere to spawn. Uh, so when I come back and play tonight here in a few hours that... Uh, that I'll be able to, you know, get a good start and not be, you know, from scratch on the naked beach, right? So again, real quick, just speeding this up, hit barrels, went back to the outpost, sold it all, bought some more nails. Um, yeah, I looked, guys, it was actually only an hour. This, All this footage you've seen so far was just one hour before I had to log off and go to work for a few hours. So I was just trying to get a little, uh, little base operation started for when I log back on later here. So along with the nails, I needed a touch more wood. I'm going to hack down some quick trees and try to seal this base up, make it hard for anybody uh, to get in too easily anyway. Alright, here we go. Sealed up two doors. And guess what, you know what? Let's put a third door on there. Why not? This is about as secure we're going to get in about an hour, guys. Alright, just putting everything away, closing all the doors horses here and uh, yeah like I said I just gotta go to work for a few hours
All right, we're back. Um, raided. I was only gone like two and a half, three hours max uh, in the middle of the day. Day two of the server. And people are raiding wood shacks that are brand, brand new. All right, well, we're back now. I got another hour and a little bit to play before I got to go do something again. Let's see if we can patch this thing up quick. Just hit a few barrels really quick and uh, I'm gonna recycle this, get some cloth, get some clothes so I can open up my inventory slots again. And uh, yeah, these guys in chat are the ones who raided me and they're always complaining about people trying to offline them even though they're a trio who offline me solo and offline everyone. Okay, sorry, kind of a big skip here. Just went around hitting barrels and uh, just uh, it's night time now. Gotta build a little bit in the dark but that's not the end of the world. Damn it, need more nails again. Oh, this is frustrating. I gotta find a better way to make money than this. So I hit a bunch more barrels and I came back home. I didn't want to show you because that's boring. Uh, yeah, anyway, we're back here. We're gonna try and fix this up. Alright, we got the base all fixed up kind of. We're gonna add a little ladder hat, technically another door. And then we gotta work on upgrading the base to stone while we use cement. Cement is kind of like nails. And then we'll need sheet metal to upgrade our base to metal. We also need to upgrade your TC to go from stone to metal. You gotta spend 3,500 bucks, which is a hefty sum considering how much I'm making. All right, we're gonna buy as much as we can here and we'll take it home and see if we can make at least one or both of the bottom rooms all stone. One more thing you need besides cement to upgrade your base into stone. Can you guess what that is? It's stone! Doesn't look very promising, but at this stage we'll take any scraps. And uh, we do find some scraps. Nothing too exciting. Okay, so I smashed a few more rocks headed back to base. Now we upgraded all that to stone. Look how much we did though. Got the whole bottom floor two, uh, two squares. Then we got uh, one more square above it. So technically we got at least three doors to the loot. That's golden, baby. That's golden. But you know what? I got to go back to work for a few hours. So hopefully we don't get raided again. Fingers crossed. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, looks like we didn't get raided, guys. So that that's great news. We got a stone base. We got some basic tools. We got clothes on. We are gonna get some real grinding done uh, today. I only had an hour to play. Then I had to go to work. I came back. Was raided. I only had an hour to play. Fix it up. I had to log off. Now we're back. Now I'm gonna get a solid. You know what I mean? Six, seven, eight hours. Uh, we're gonna get some real stuff done. Again, just cut out me hitting some rocks and some trees, picking up some plants, not the most exciting thing. You will be seeing that, don't worry, but I cut that stuff out. And now that we're back to base, you know, you can see my inventory. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but I just want to let you know that the gather rate is halved, right? So it, it's almost nothing. You feel like you're farming for half an hour and it's nothing. So now after a few untelevised runs, you can see I'm starting to build up some mats. So there's actually quite a few unique rules and settings on the server. Uh, it's hard to tell you all about all of them. If you type info in the chat though, a little book will come up. They've done a nice job putting in a little custom plugin for this here so you can kind of read up on everything you need to. Alright, so what you see in front of you is the coastal town. After playing this server before a couple times, this is a great monument at the start. It's huge, the loot is pretty much never ending. There's zombies, so let's go check it out. So here we have our first friend. Not terribly hard to kill. Annoying kind of with a crossbow. But yo, they drop pretty decent loot. Like if you need ammo and meds, this is the easy way to get them on the server. Pretty much just farm zombies. Zombie number two here. You guys notice when I kill one, I'm putting it up in the top uh, left of the screen on my stats. And uh, also notice again that here he's dropping pretty damn good loot, right? And uh, I'm getting experience for killing each one of them too, which is really important. I'm getting pretty lucky here as I go into the coastal town for the first time I get a little notification saying a hackable crate is getting dropped in the coastal town that I'm at there's only one on the server so there's several places where hackable crates will drop on this server and I am literally in the middle of like three of them so we got a good location 
playing on a server like this is actually pretty fun. You're not limited to what's allowed to spawn on a crate. Um, literally almost anything can be out here on uh, on these boxes or on the ground, wherever. Um, you know, a coffee can, helmet, a med kit, I've found rockets, I've found guns, bullets, uh, it really doesn't matter. The game obviously has a smaller chance for rockets and stuff, but it's like the wild, wild west. Alright, finished running the coastal town, my inventory's full, we started that hackable crate, we're gonna come back. Let's just head back to base, drop this off. Alright, made it home. A nice secure little base. I uh, needed some storage. And then we're heading back right out. So I don't live very far from the coastal town. And it didn't take me very long to get back to my base and depot. So I doubt the crate's ready. Let's, uh, let's just go run the town again. And when the crate's ready, we'll pop it. That should work out good. All right, that's a really good find on my second time in the coastal town here. Uh, backpack, right? Uh, backpacks are so huge. It's not in the normal game, guys, right? But now I can have bigger hauls going back and forth my base. Just saves time, right? Big win. So much good stuff, guys, like jackhammer, more metal armor, and then it looked like gingerbread men. That's actually just a different uh, skin, I guess, in game for the cement. It actually looks different in your inventory. But yeah, just running the town gets you so much good stuff. And we're full again, and we're heading home. Alright, once again, we put all that stuff, and now I think it's time to go check out that locked crate. It's probably going to open now. Because it's a locked crate, and you can see it on the map here, I'm just creeping through the city to make sure I don't hear anything. Sound is so crucial in this game. And uh, here we are, opening the crate. Oh, that's not bad. I really need the guns. That's really good. The supply signal helped a lot, too. Alright, back home again. Drop off the loot. Right back out again. Scared me a little bit. I thought it was a player for sure, making all that noise, you know. Really big thing I got on that run is I found a bed. Uh, beds are super useful on this server. Sleeping bags, like I mentioned earlier, are one use only. And a bed you can use forever, but it's got a 15 minute cooldown. So we definitely need at least that in our base. Alright, processing drugs requires a recycler that's not in a safe zone. And you gotta open up this little tab, and then you gotta wait 80 seconds. All right, we got our first batch of drugs processed, um, and we built up a good number of components and different things now. So after we get back to the base, we gather it all up, and it's time to do our first real sell-off. All right, here we go to the outpost. Good thing it's so close. It's literally like less than a square away. Not a bad haul, $6,866. So when I started this video here, we were talking about gaining experience and gaining levels. Well, here's the benefit of gaining levels. Every level you get a little bonus. So for one of them I got some cash, I got some seeds, I got some resources. 
Um, not too bad, and they just keep getting better, right? Like, look at that, an extra 2,500 bucks. Look at all the resources. That's pretty huge. All right, so we did all that. We're about to head back to base, but I figure let's be smart and put all the money we can in the ATM. That way, if we get raided again, we still have some stash left over. Um, and as you in your ATM, so right now I can only hold 5,000. By the end, you can hold 30,000, which is pretty huge, right? So after cutting down all those trees, get back into base, I figured out I needed some more, so I just ran out really quick, got some more trees. Simple. Alright, we ran the coastal town a bunch, we sold a bunch, we chopped a ton of wood, we got the furnaces going, now let's go explore a little bit. Didn't really need those other tools, but I'll take them. And the rest of this little exploration room, whatever, just kind of looking for nodes and drugs. I just realized they hit level 6 a little while ago, so let's gather our bonus from that. It's a nice little PvP kit. Not quaint. Alright, you know me, I'm not going to sit in my base too long. We're heading out, we're heading back to the coastal town. Alright, another coastal town run done. Try to say that 10 times fast. Okay, we're heading home, we're putting the loot away, and then I noticed there has been another locked crate dropped very close to my base at another small monument called the Suburbs. Let's go. So I creep up to the monument, and I'm actually just sitting there because I didn't see anything, and all of a sudden out of the corner of my eye, I can barely notice it, but there's a dude on the left there. First kill, baby, let's go. Ooh, he's pretty stacked too. All right, let's get out of here pretty quick. We'll stash all the stuff and we'll come back for the lock crate. So I'm editing here and I'm kind of asking myself, how come I didn't go back for the lock crate? I honestly don't know. I don't know if I forgot about it, if I thought he was gonna be sitting there waiting for me, but I didn't go back, I guess. So here I am back at the coastal town again. Looting, 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 and here we go. We find a backpack again, but an even better one, an even bigger one. So I'm just minding my own business, looting, dee 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 dee. Whoa, holy crap, he got the drop on me pretty good there. He must have seen me and been following me or something. Otherwise, I wasn't really making a lot of noise for the last few seconds there. Oh my god, it's the same guy from the suburbs. He's just way less loaded this time. Okay, this is going pretty good so far. Two PvP kills, no PvP deaths. So as I'm editing this, I can just really see that, you know, we're going over and over with the coastal town here uh, and keep trying to cut out as much as I can, but they, it's got a little green card room, so I decided to hit that up too. And just using this as my main source of loot, you know, there's not a ton of people there, I, I catch people there, but it's just over and over respawning decent loot, it's close to my base, this is by far much better than running the road, so this is what I do for a lot of the video guys, so I'm going to cut it out, all the extra shit though, don't worry.
Another town run done. Let's go. I had a bunch of stuff piled up again, so I decided to take it to the outpost. Just a quick jaunt away. And let's get her sold. Okay, so I sold all that, got a decent amount of change, and then I was going to recycle some shotgun ammo for gunpowder, and I can't make anything with it, but I can sell the gunpowder, so that's extra money. Anyway, there's a person AFK recycling at the recycler, and I tried to slowly push them away, and eventually, I guess, they, uh, they started clapping for me, just remember the name Sable. Okay, we got that done. Uh, I see a repair bench. Let's change up my colors here. Let's, uh, let's get the swag going. Oops, forgot to sell these two large furnaces. They're worth like six fifty each. That's huge. Same thing with small refineries. They're five fifty each. So good, f good grab if you can find them. You know, your base means a lot on this server. So I'm really trying to get prepared to upgrade my base to metal. Uh, we're going to sell our gunpowder, and we're going to buy a garage door here, and that should make us a lot more secure. Alright, we're out of there. Uh, we made it back home. Let's swap this door with a garage door. Alright, I'm pretty much Mr. Prepared, so I'm going to use these chainsaws that I got, and I'm going to go smash some trees real quick and come back. That was sure quick, wasn't it? Maybe for you. Okay, we filled these bastards up, now let's get back out there. As you can see, I'm just hitting some nodes, exploring, and I come across this base hidden in the trees, kinda. And I just start checking out it a little bit, looking at the layout, see if I could raid it maybe soon. Oh, they don't know I'm out here. a loser you fucking door camping ass bag well as you guys complain they see i was not door camping i uh was scouting and they came out right in front of me all i had to do is sit still for a moment you guys can see the type of player i am right i'm a big grinder right I'm like I like the PvP, but I don't like go hunting for it non-stop. I find getting stuff done is really important, and you guys can see how much I'm getting done. Like just responsible farming, you know. Okay, guys, it's nighttime, but we got another lock crate landing at the coastal town. It's crazy, right? It's the first day it lands there multiple times, and like you know, one day of me playing, not like one day in the game. But anyway, we're headed out there. Okay, I'm coming around the corner on this crate, and it hasn't been started yet, so that's a good sign. It probably means there's no one around at all. I just looted the town and then hid in the supermarket next to the crate. It's pop. Let's go check it out. Oh, damn. Armored door, rocket, metal chest piece, more guns. Okay, you guys don't understand that rocket's worth seven and a half grand. The door's like three or five grand. Uh, the AK is like five grand to buy. Like that's some fat loot right there. Like that's why these lock crates are so important, guys. It's so much more money than anything else. All right, let's head back to the outpost. I got a couple more things to sell.
Okay, heading back out a different way this time. We're gonna go kind of near the desert. I'm gonna mine some more nodes. Uh, I won't have to do this much, much more. Like I'm not really grabbing too much stone anymore. Uh, just trying to grab everything I can. And it's also a great way to get experience. It's like 0.6 of a point at the time, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is actually. Can this never have enough wood? Even in vanilla, you know, you seem like you're cutting down trees every every hour, you know, you just shoot through it so fast, the furnaces. Well, this is half gathering, so think how many trees I gotta cut down. Alright, we got the wood. Let's fill these bad boys up. Let's go out again. was just heading out to explore again and I remember this base was already here but now it looks like it's raided so let's hop in and find out what's happening. I'd say maybe it's just decayed but uh, there's a ladder on it so yeah someone's definitely been in here. Anyway I'll take this. Not really crazy juicy but you know definitely gonna take some of this stuff home. Meh. Not too bad actually. Come back and get the rest of it, I think, but uh, this is probably the best of it. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I like that. Who doesn't love free loot, you know? so much better for you watching the video than uh, me actually sitting here watching all this recycle in real time. There we go. We're starting to make a little bit more money all the time now. You know, we went from making 100, 200, 300 bucks at the very, very start running the road to now making, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand a run. Big difference. Okay, guys, this is why I've been grinding so hard. Um, I've said it before in this video that uh, having a base is like your biggest thing, right? If you don't have a base, like, you can't really do too much, right? Like, how do you get up enough money to raid someone if you have nowhere to store it, right? So that that's a giant thing. Your bank machine can only hold so much. And, uh, you know, when in this server, apparently you're not supposed to grief anybody really badly. So, you know, if you get raided, apparently you'll still have most of your base. All right, we just added a whole bunch of new room in the base. Plus, I'm gonna make the big upgrade to metal now. I don't know why I don't have the footage for it, but I had to spend 3,500 bucks on my TC. I had to put the money in the TC and hit a button in the TC to upgrade it to let me upgrade my base to sheet metal. And I had to have sheet metal components plus metal frags to do that. I wasn't sure on the map of how much sheet metal we need to do all this. Uh, but we managed to get the bottom 2x1 my TC's in all metal and then even the top 2x1 above it all metal too so we're rocking and rolling right now. Big, big upgrades. So my inner core is metal but I need to do some honeycombing in stone at least. That's the cheaper material and I don't have enough metal otherwise so uh, we ran out of cement. I have lots of stone left but I need to go to the outpost and get a bunch of cement. So we got some money from the TC, I took one of my level bonuses, which was a hefty 5 G's, and uh, we just uh, went to the outpost quick, I skipped it, and uh, now we're building again. We have tons of doors from running Coastal Town, I always tried to bring them back, and I'm just making a whole bunch of different rooms, just sectioning off every little square here, even using ladder hatches, just so there's just one little extra sheet door basically between me and the wild, wild world out there. This section is why you almost never want to build into a cliff, unless you're doing it really specifically and you've found a little bit of practice. Otherwise, you can't support your honeycombing very well. And I've had to do some super janky fix up to make it work and then it's kind of like half hollow it just doesn't end up being strong but you know what never mind that positive attitude let's go
Okay, I'll just get up on the roof. That's some honey coming up there. I thought it'd be smart to make these all metal. That way they can't get soft sided. Considering they're all foundations. If someone soft sided this, then they could probably get under that wall. So that was really ridiculous base upgrades, especially for a solo on this server on the very first day I'm playing still. Um, my front door is still just a tad weak. We added a couple doors, but I need some more airlocks. That'll be done in the future, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna go check out this lock crate that just landed, see if anybody's here. All right, so we started that crate, and I don't wanna sit in that uh, boring little suburb. It's a tiny, tiny monument and wait 15 minutes, so I'm gonna run around west of this little place, get some nodes, plants. Okay, we made it back with all that stuff. I went to go depot it all before we picked up our lock crate, and just had enough time to do all that. And you can see my, my good goods here. So really quickly, I depot all that and head back to my locked crate. Hopefully it's gonna be mine and there's nobody sitting there waiting for me. I was just sitting there at the crate to make sure it was safe from the trees, you know, like a little weasel. A zombie snuck up on me. Wow, that's a really crappy crate. Some of the other ones I got before were worth maybe 10, 20 grand. This one I don't even think is worth five. Yeah, not good. So we make it home with our meager locked crate loot. Immediately put that garage door to use. And we work on building a little bit more of an airlock, adding a couple more doors to the loot. I got one last little thing to do, I think, before the end of day one. And we are going to go process all the drugs we got built up from running around. So we're going to exit our base, make a quick run to the coastal town over there, plop that all in the processor. It takes 80 seconds for each bundle, and with the magic of editing, it's done instantly. So we're leaving the coastal town here, then trudging up the mountains, past my base, and to the outpost to sell all these illicit drugs here. How much you guys think I'm going to make all off all this? You guys see how valuable this, uh, this drug farming is on this? And I don't even have a farm. I'm not just had a farm. This is just from running around picking the crap up. That's my biggest payday yet. Way more than the components, right? Okay, so I run home like a little snake with all that money. And after putting it all in my TC, I realize I'm like, oh, I got too much cash in my base and I got space in my ATM. So I run back to the outpost, max out my ATM so it's money hopefully no one can steal if I get raided. And then I run right back again. All right, with that, that's gonna be the end of my day one footage. Killed a few people, only died uh, to an offline raid. Already rebuilt, stronger than ever. Got a few lock crates. I'm um, stacked up, ready for tomorrow. Let's see what the new day brings. If we make it. Alright, I know the suspense was killing you, but we made it through the night. Amazing, I know. So, I didn't start recording right away. I went to the coastal town, ran it. Didn't get a ton, but we're making some money. That was our first stop. So I take that loot home and uh, I had to make dinner or something. I think I was AFK for a little while, so it got dark. Uh, when I grabbed the keyboard again, when I sat down again, I noticed there was a lock crate in Coastal Town, so I headed there right away. So the whole time I played on this server, like 10 days, I never saw two crates stacked on top of each other, plus open at the same time like this. I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, it was only AFK for maybe an hour or so, or I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. But uh, there's no one here. I really don't understand. I'm going to take this and get the hell out of here. So just a few seconds later, I'm sneaking out of the town and I see this light. That was probably the luckiest shots of my life. In the dark, a little bit over the crest of a hill, at an okay range. And yeah, I'll take it.
Alright, so that was fun. Locked crate. Killed some poor uh, unsuspecting bastard in the dark of the night. And uh, we're gonna get back. We're gonna cross that armored door on my front door again. So I've got all kinds of components built up. Guns from the crates. Uh, just lots of different stuff from running coastal town. Just lots of odds and ends. So we're just gonna sell all that. Take the cash I have at base. And then we're gonna try and buy uh, anything we can. We ended up with about 30,000 and I remembered I have 15,000 in my ATM so let's go get that too. Alright so let's get a couple C4 first. We definitely need a launcher and we can afford two more rockets. Alright. And then we're going to put all the rest of whatever I have in the bank, just in case. Alright, I'm going to run home really quickly, store all this stuff up. Nothing too crazy, but we got some room now. We got 4C4, 3 rockets, and we can blow something open. Alright, so I've already got a few kills. I want to try and get my first raid on here, so I'm going to go wander and see if I can find myself a base to raid. Well, this is unfortunate. Lots of people aren't quite familiar with the building mechanics on this server. Uh, like I said, it's the hardcore version. You need nails, but you can make the way to upgrade your wood. You need even more nails, cement or stone uh, upgrades. You need, like I said, the cement for it, upgrade to stone, and so on. I already ran home and got some tools, now we're on our way back. Let's get in there. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? I'm not bad. Yeah, I wasn't expecting too much, but uh, I didn't spend anything to get in here, so that's, you know, still worth it. Ow! Okay, who just did that? That wasn't smart. Alright, take the silencer off, don't need that. Okay, where is this guy? What the hell's he doing? Oh, there's a big fella. Oh, I see you. Oh, and look who it is. We were just outside their base literally like three, four minutes ago. You're such a loser, you fucking door camping ass bag. Oh, I'm mad now. Wasn't horrible. I don't think we'll count that on the raid counter though. Not quite, uh, not quite worth it. I got big plans for the base. I want to make it all metal. I want to even try to get it to armor some of it. But uh, I'm going to need to cook a lot of metal in my furnaces and that takes a lot of wood. The harvest rate's really low on this server so I got to cut a lot of wood. I'm speeding it up a lot, don't worry. Hear me, cut some wood. Like I was just saying, I got big plans for the base, so I'm gonna need a lot of metal ore. Uh, I'm gonna need extra stone. I'm gonna need to find as many raw drugs in the forest while I look for the nodes. It's a good thing to do at the same time. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a pretty big grinder in this game. If you ever have a team, I'm definitely someone you want on the team. I may not be the best at PvP, but I grind everything. I'm gonna get you tons and tons of resources, tons of everything. Always on the move. Build up the furnaces and I need to make more money, so just ran back to the coastal town again. Oh, those footsteps, I almost thought that was a player. Dusted him. Pays to uh, creep around silent all the time. I definitely heard him first. 
Had the silencer on. I don't even think he knew where he was getting shot from right away. I told you guys my aim is getting better. Look at that. I think I only missed two or three shots out of that burst. So we did it. We made it home. We got everything. Uh, after putting most of it away, I decided to go back to the outpost. We need to sell stuff, guys. Okay, let's see how much money we can make. Okay, we made cool 10 G's after selling all that stuff. Now let's head to the recycler and recycle all these bullets and stuff I don't need for gunpowder and we'll sell that too. Okay, let's just sell the gunpowder, see how much we get. Alright, we made 1500 bucks from the gunpowder, that's not too bad. I don't know why I don't have the footage, but I bought some cement and then we deposited the rest of the money of course. And uh, now I'm heading back uh, to my base. Okay, so once we're back home with that stuff, you know, I bought it for a reason. So let's go use that on my base, fill out some honeycomb on the outside, make my base even bigger. I don't know about you guys, but like building like this in fast motion isn't like the most exciting thing to watch. I just kind of left it in a little bit and obviously sped it up just to show you how much of a renovation, how much I have to add all the time and how expensive that is on this mod because everything is low gather rate, need nails, and need cement, not just stone, right? So. So after yet another giant base upgrade, we're heading to a locked crate very close by to my base. I told you, we're right in the center of it. They always spawn at the little spots around me. Creeping through the bushes, oh yeah, being a creep, creeping through the bushes. Well, let's see what's inside. That's really That's barely anything. That's one of the worst lock crates. Alright, we got home. Let's toss that armor door on now. Why not, right? And then here's a look at uh, just some of my loot. Get pretty stacked up, I would say, just for day two after getting raided right away when I started. Alright, we're going out again. Decided to go a completely different way. Going uh, northeast up into the desert to go to the mansion. And what the mansion is, is uh, a small monument. Uh, not as big as Coastal Town, but it's got a blue card room in it. So that's why we're going there. Alright, we're here. Let's find the fuse place first. Okay, jam that in there. Let's get upstairs. And yeah, it's uh, it looks like someone's been here. Okay, you got a P2, all right. Uh, everything else is garbage. This was honestly a waste of time riding over here for this. This is like, this is the blue card room. This sucks. All right, I came back from the mansion and I had to go AFK for a little while, probably made dinner or something. Anyway, when I came back, it was pretty dark, so I went out with the night vision goggles. I had all the boom boom stored up and I figured I wanted to do something with it so I went out scouting. As I'm out scouting pretty much uh, right away, this was really close to my base in the mountains, I found this little, uh, little place we put on top of it called metal, it's kind of small, it's like a 2x2 two two or 2x3 two or something. I'm thinking to myself, you know what, send it, let's just do it, this will be our first raid, it's small enough to get a new, plus he's upgraded his TC to, uh, so he could upgrade his base to metal. You guys obviously got a couple bucks. Let's try it. Let's do it. It's raiding time. It's raiding time. That's the first raid, boys. Let's just see if we can get some use out of this thing.
Yeah, Scoopy make boom boom. All right, I'm gonna rock at that sheet metal door. It should break. And we are in. And that PC is pretty crap. Nothing I can really use in there. Like the stone's okay, but I want to use metal now. Nothing in that furnace. Oh, that egg's got a couple of okay things. Not worth the explosives though. All right, let's take this home. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna break that box. I'm gonna saw side this stone wall. All right, we're back. Nobody's sitting here waiting for us. That's a good sign. Let's break this thing open. That's a little bit better box. We got hazmat, meds, bullets, night vision, ladder, a couple cards, doors. Nah, not that fancy, but I don't know. Leave or something. Gotta be smart enough to raid when you can, guys. And one box. All right, let's get into that. All right, guns, bullets, drugs. Not too bad, I'll take that. All right, well, we're done here. Uh, that definitely wasn't profit at all, but we did our first raid. We got rid of a really close neighbor. Um, I don't know, we got bullets and a gun and you know other stuff, so let's just uh, take that and move on. All right, just for showing off my TC, now just showing off my best kind of boom box. We're logging off, guys, end of day two. Can we survive overnight again? Oh yeah, we made it. Check that out. Not raided one more day. After waking up, I realized I need to cut down some more trees. And while I was out there, uh, he uh, noticed uh, another base popped up really close to outpost. I'm like, really close to me. And it's pretty big. It's a two by two with full honeycomb. I'm like, oh, there's a chopper on top. Wow, okay. These guys gotta go next, I think. I'm just walking home from cutting that wood, and what do I notice just over my uh, shoulder out of the corner of my eye? There's an event where a plane crashes and it drops usually two, three, or four of these crates, so I don't know if it happened and someone missed one, but that's a really crappy crate. <laughs> you see something good in it, a gun or armored door, that's crap. Alright, I go home with that wood, I stoke all those fires up, and uh, I head back out to that mansion. Uh, I don't remember if I went there would do a blue card and the crate just happened to be there or what was the plan But anyway, there's a lock crate and I'm gonna do the blue card, too So I kill super rare and then I turn to the crates and I realize there's two stacked on top of each other again It's a super rare thing that means nobody got the first one I think and then it randomly came to the same place again on the rotation Yay me Okay, well those timers are set, let's loot this blue card room in this monument. This one creates kind of okay, but everything else again is pretty trash. This really does not seem to be worth it to here at all for this. So I loot the rest of the place, uh, and I realize there's still a lot of time on the timer, so I decide to leave and head home. And as I hop on the horse, I start getting shot at. Now I'm not sure what to do. This is what I got from the mansion. Like I said, just really not that great. Okay, getting home, realized I need way more storage. I'm just bringing home so much crap and stuff all the time myself. So here we go. Alright, I deep all that crap, the crate's still not unlocked yet, and now I'm just sprinting back on the horse. I'm trying to creep up here, but the guy's sitting on the ridge to my, uh, to my east, and, uh, now I'm kind of like, oh, lost that element of surprise. 
small problem is I have no zoom and it's like kind of dark. I can't really see him very well at all. Honestly, it like looks like a spat. I can't tell if it's him or not. Okay, I think I see him. Alright, I hit him once, but this is not the weapon for this. I'm thinking to myself, screw this, I'm just gonna go for the crates. Like, what am I doing messing around with this guy? I'm getting really close, and then I look at my map real quick, and the crates are gone. I'm thinking, what the hell? Yeah, I can't see them, so... I checked right when I was coming up. I think this guy is a teammate that snatched him when we were fighting. That's my theory anyway. And that kind of pisses me off though because there's two stacked on top of each other. That would have been a big payday. So I wasn't going to get too down. I decided to just hit back up uh, Coastal Town. See what we can uh, scavenge. You know what I mean? Ended up getting a bunch of goodies. Nothing too crazy though. So, we get back home with all that eventually, and I uh, gather up all the, the different raw drugs and stuff that I got, and it's time to go process that. We need another case. I like going to Coastal Town to do it. It seems like the bottom of the map is quieter. Uh, it's further away from the fresh spawns. You've seen that I've run into people a couple times there, but it hasn't really mattered too much, right? Alright, so we went there, processed all that, brought it all home, we grabbed a bunch more random stuff that I had to ready to sell, now we're going to the outpost. This was definitely a good trip to the outpost. Made a good seven something before I even sold the, uh, all that uh, processed drugs. And then uh, like another 10, 11K from that. Nice. So I recycle all that uh, ammo and stuff for gunpowder. And then I stupidly, I don't go sell it for some reason, but I do buy a rocket and a C4 to add to my collection before heading home. So I run home with some boom boom there from the outpost, and I decide it's time to take some level up rewards. So let's open our phone and do that. I guess it's just one level up reward, but that's kind of nice. You can see that I'm going to get cash on the next level. That backpack's huge. Uh, then level up, that's going to be base building supplies. Run out on a big node run, just decided not to include it. This is what I got, this is what I brought home. Another lock crate dropped at the suburbs near me, so we're heading out there to check that out. Alright, so I sneak up there through the trees like I like to, and uh, I can see the crate's not been turned on yet. It's a good sign nobody's around early, so I kind of just rush it and uh, turn it on. I ended up hanging out waiting for the crate. Wow, look how loaded that zombie is. I had a bunch of stuff and just from killing zombies and looting that place where I waited, so I just ran home and uh, depoted it real quick. Alright, we're back. Now it's time to check that crate out. Uh, it's okay. Nothing too fantastic, but not the worst one we've had yet. No boom boom, though. Alright, let's go sell everything we don't need again. No sense in piling it up at the base. All right, we made a quick 6,200. We're gonna fill up the bank to the max that I can right now, and uh, we're gonna head back home. All right, so we went home with all that, put everything away, go back up, go back to Coastal Town.
again, I'm just grinding. How many times do you think I've ran coastal towns so far, right? Just that alone. And then right back yet again to the outpost. You guys, I'm a money-making solo machine here. I want to raid people. Bad. There's boom, another 7k plus some beds and some ladders and some night vision and some drop boxes. That's good. Alright, back to coastal town. But, but, there's a twist. I'm just minding my own business in the town, collecting stuff, and then I hear some steps. Damn, that's so lame. Somehow he shot me through the glass, and I tried to shoot back through the glass, but I hit nothing but a solid piece, I guess. That's uh, just unfortunate luck for me, but oh well, not the end of the world. Alright, I'm kitted back up, and I didn't feel like rushing back there. I didn't feel like the guy was just going to sit there with all the loot, and uh, I decided to go out looking around again. And I ended up finding another base on the other side of Outpost, like right on the edge of it again. This base popped up in day two, uh, and it's metal and stone, honeycomb, there's a helicopter sitting outside. This seems like it would be juicy, definitely. This looks like the spot I would raid into for sure. It looks like you can't place honeycomb because of the land escape. That's honestly what it looks like to me. Hmm, let's check around the other side just in case. Let's be sure what this thing looks like as best we can. The way this is built, now I'm not that sure. I almost want to blow in right here, but uh, it kind of looks like there's a door on the far end, actually, so this would not be the best place, it seems like now. So, as I'm leaving, now I can't really decide whether I want to raid this base or the other base. That's just on the other side of uh, Outpost here. Either way, whoever I end up choosing to raid, I'm going to need more Boom Boom. So I need money. Let's hit back up. Guess where? I'm not really sure why I went with such a crappy kit. Uh, maybe I was just hoping to get my stuff back from my dead body, or I knew I'd find clothes in the town. Well, yeah, the guy that killed me must have been stacked because he left most of my body here, just pretty much everything. Okay, got pretty lucky there. So just finished running the town. Nothing too special. Alright, again, another successful run make it home with all that and uh, I get uh, the idea in my head that I could use another little base a backup base with uh, you know what I mean a kid or two in it not too far away from mine but just you know in case I get raided I don't have to start from zero kind of thing So it's nothing fancy, it's just a 2 by one and it's in between my base and the coastal town, so it's another little drop off. Uh, it's kind of secure and uh, yeah, pretty easy. Alright, we're all done with that. I run home, get rid of that crap, and then I decide to go back to coastal town again. It's paying me, uh, I'm getting good stuff every time I go, plus I'm getting PvP sometimes, I'm killing people, and it kills me. Wow, check on the loot on that zombie. You can get almost anything, I feel like, from them. The loot's always a little random, but there's, you know, comps and construction items, armor, lots of armor, road sign stuff to sell. Yet again, back at home. 
Alright, so now instead of getting our level up bonus, we're going to get skills. We're going to use our skill points from completing quests. And I'm going to use it to get more money from selling dope. It's a cool system. They keep changing it a little bit every time, but there's uh, different skill trees. I'm on the bandit skill tree, if you haven't noticed. Yes, I know, I know, back to Coastal Town. But these are like 15, 20 minute runs, guys, at least, if not longer, and it's taking seconds. So, yeah, I'm just showing you I'm grinding, grinding crazy loot. And like I said, there's sometimes there's stuff happens. All right, I get out of there with one more big gaggle of loot, bring that stuff home, and I, uh, I go through my boxes, I put the stuff away I want to keep, I grab all the stuff I want to sell, and then we're off the outpost. We got to make some money, we got to finance my boom booms here. Yeah, it takes forever to sell all this stuff. Like, I can never remember everything I have in my inventory to sell. So I have to, like, sell something, open my inventory, look, open my inventory, look. Anyway, um, yeah, and then eventually uh, I buy a C4 at the very end. So I take that boom boom home, and I realize, I'm like, oh, I got a, a level bonus waiting for me. So I take my level bonus, and then I think, oh yeah, I've got money in the ATM, too. So I use that stuff, and uh, together, now I can really get some more, uh, more explosives to play with. Wow, all that money doesn't seem to go very far. Oh man, I've got an extra rocket and an extra C4 out of all that. That's okay though, um, we're gonna use another level bonus because somehow we just gained a level. We're gonna get some building supplies too, who doesn't love that? Alright, I think I have enough to pull off a raid now. So I'm just gonna go check that other guy's base, the first one I looked at. Um, doesn't look like a terribly complicated design. Just trying to think of where the loot would be based on the front door, you know, kind of question if it's on the second floor, you know, in the honeycombing, etc, etc. I think I'm going to pick base number two. I think it has a flaw in it. He couldn't build his honeycomb right where uh, the mountain, that little rock outcrop is, I think. That's what I'm banking on just use this to check where exactly the wall starts and let's send this what do you guys think do we hit loot right away mm, boxes right away that's a good sign pesky box Deal with that. Where do we go though? Maybe this way? Boo, empty boxes. Alright, what's through here? The hell? It's just a way upstairs. Okay. I don't know if the loot's upstairs, I would doubt it. Take a little look outside here, just before we continue. At least they've just been sheet doors. That's funny. As soon as I say that, it's all of a sudden armor and garage door. Okay, I don't have enough on me to break both those, but I have a little bit more at home, so I'm going to grab it real quick. Okay, I got everything. Let's go back and finish. Terrible. I don't know if he was door camping me, followed me home, what happened there, but uh, that was the last of my boom boom, guys. I don't think I can finish the raid now. I don't know what I would do to finish it. I don't have any money, nothing. I'm not rage quitting or anything. That was just the last thing I did before I logged off. And it didn't go too well. I'm out of boom, so that's it for tonight, anyway, guys. Uh, just showing off my loot a little bit before I uh, do that. Uh, who knows what's going to happen if I'll make it or not, right? 
All right, we're logging in. Day four, did we make it? Yes, we did. Let's start the day with a nice coastal town run. Why not? So I'm just looting, minding my own business. And it's kind of dark, but I see this guy by the recycler over there. Alright, he's clearly panicked, low health, he's also terrible. This might go well. I got an idea, let's use this grenade to scare him out real quick. Yeah, boy! Oh, and look who it is. The guy just killed me a little while ago. Revenge is always so sweet. Okay, made it home obviously. Showing you all the loot here, putting it all away. And we open up his backpack. He's stacked in the backpack too. It's a funny saying, he's eh? stacked in the backpack. So there's a big drop box at the front door of my base there. When it gets full, I try to go sell everything. So it's pretty close to full. Let's go sell everything. Alright, after all that, we make a cool 10 G's. Who doesn't love a cool 10 grand in their back pocket? Alright, I want to upgrade my base, so I need 7,500 bucks, but I'm going to deposit everything else I can into the bank here. Uh, it's just going to cost me 7,500 to upgrade my TC so we can get another layer of protection, upgrade the base to armored walls. That guy had some poker chips in his backpack that I just killed, so I decided to use them real quick. Oh yeah, baby. Triple up. Let's run it again. Come on, baby. Man, that was so close. We were set up. That's a that's a that's a con job right there. All right, we're home. Time to put that money in the TC. Press the upgrade button. This is how you do it. So like I was saying, now I can upgrade any part of the base to armored, but it's expensive. It takes nails, sheet metal, and metal frags, and high quality metal to do it. Really expensive. I'm trying to just get the main core of the base done all in armored at least. Make sure you get all the foundations, all the walls, and the ceiling in the easy room. Okay, we did that. We got some left over still, that's good. We're gonna make upkeep. Base is now stronger than ever. So nothing much else was happening. No crates, no raids, no nothing really was popping right now. Just decided to run Coastal Town fast. Always seem to find some decent stuff there. I depot that run and then uh, I realized that there's a lock crate at the suburb next to my base. So we're heading over there now. Looks pretty quiet here. Nothing happening. There wasn't many zombies around either, but I'm glad I killed this one. Free zombies, some bullets, meds. Okay, now it's uh, night time. The crate should be open. Let's go back with our night vision. The night vision is so huge. Especially on this server, you can kind of get them semi-easily. So as long as you're already exploring, you should have some sets that you're doing. No, it's not a very good crate. Unless it's got some 4 rockets or AKs or something in it, it's really not that great. So I did all that an hour or two, I didn't have long and then I had to go to work.
think I was gone maybe five or six hours and uh, yeah I come back to uh, getting raided by the same guys as the first time I spawn back in just to see if uh, there's anything left and greeted by my own traps. Alright, so I make it back to the base, check out the damage here, and they blew the stone wall, and then they blew armored wall. So, I don't know, decently expensive raid for them. Alright, uh, I gotta seal this thing up real quick. Let's see if we got anything I can use. Yeah, we can put on a jacket and carry a little bit more. Let's get to work. We need a bit of everything right now. I'm getting wood, stone, metal, uh, hitting boxes. Uh, we get pretty lucky here and I find a uh, bed. And in the end, I find a hammer right away in the first box that I look into. I'm like saving some money. Alright, next step is to head to the outpost and take some money out of our bank account. And that's why we always leave some money in our bank account. That way if we get hurt, we get raided, then we got something to bounce back with and at least repair the base straight away, right? So I'm gonna use that money now to buy some base building supplies. And I gotta remember to save 3,500 bucks because otherwise I can't upgrade my TC and my brand new TC will not be able to build any metal in my base. It will limit me and only be able to make stone. So anyway, I need that money. Okay, so right there I'm upgrading my PC, and then we're restoring the walls, making them more young. Alright, let's make our way upstairs and secure the rest of the base. And when I do that, we'll have all about the walls at least minimum. Oh, so that would be such a, such a super easy target if someone wanted to pick on me again. Alright, we're solid for now. And then I realized I actually had a machine gun kit in uh, my locker still. So let's grab that and let's head out. I saw on the map that there was a lock crate at Coastal Town, so that's where we're heading. The server's kind of funny because lots of times there's tons of people on the server, tons of people, and then other times it gets pretty quiet. And I'm always wondering why no one's around to challenge me for crates. So before I started the crate and after I looted the town a bit, now I'm just running at home while the timer goes down and we'll depot all that stuff and then we'll head back. I realized there was another lock crate at the mansion to the northeast so I figured I'd go start that one and then head back and pick up the other one. Okay, somehow this is here and not open. Oh, 2C4, okay, that's huge. All right, let's get that home, and uh, let's keep all that quick, and then let's head back to the mansion to see if that other uh, crate is unlocked right now. Ah, it needs a minute, so let's, let's just hang out. All right, that crate just opened, what did we get? All right, C4 again, not too bad, not too bad, the C4 makes up for it. That's really good though, we just got 3C4 in like a half an hour, not even just by hitting lock crates that nobody even challenged us on. That just saved me over $33,000 buying it. Alright, so yet again back in coastal town, but we're here for a different reason. There's an event here called uh, Control Zone, I haven't really done that before, so we're going to figure that out. I think i got to stay in here for a certain amount of time, and I guess I'm going to get rewards at different points, or maybe the end, etc, etc. Alright, so I'm in the control zone and uh, the server is starting, just so bear that in mind. But I'm also going to go through here and I'm going to show you the different rewards for your RP points. So you can open cases with that. Different cases can randomly be different things. So uh, that's what you do with them if you're curious. Alright, so I got those rewards and the server was restarting just as the zone was ending. I wasn't sure what would happen there. 
Um, it turns out, uh, I don't know if you get a reward for finishing the control zone, sorry, because the server restarted and ended up giving me nothing. So, uh, that's that. Alright, enough of that. Let's get out of there. Kill the zombie with the Tommy. That's always nice. At least a thousand bucks. Okay, make our way home. Alright, this guy's base is right across from Outpost, right next to mine. I don't like that. It's been here for a little while. It looks kind of juicy. Let's give a little inspection here. Nothing too crazy. He's got some armor. He's got metal. It looks like the juice is going to be in there, I think. He's going to definitely be the next target. It's kind of boring, but I went up for some nodes. Don't worry. I sped it up a little bit for you, dude. Okay, I was a miner. Now I'm back to close to town. Killing zombies, even if it's not for their loot, I'm always checking them for loot. But they have uh, really good experience too, and I'm always trying to level up to get those level bonuses. So it's huge. Nice, another three armored door from a zombie. Never ending zombies here. Oh, nice. That's a good zombie, too. AK, Expo, Ammo, and a flashlight. That's like 3500 bucks at least. And another armor door. Wow, okay, that's pretty lucky to get in one run because they're not that common. Alright, there's a lock crate just got dropped at the mansion. We're heading over to the desert now. Let's go. Alright, all the zombies are dead, we can start the crate here. Do a really quick run on the inside, and then we head home to cool all this stuff and come back to check on the crate. Alright, no time to waste, depot that, head back out. Alright, we're back for the crate, always creeping up. Nobody was there, so we grab it. And not too bad, nothing done. Nothing too fancy, but the turret, turret could be helpful. Alright, we're in. The Tommy's nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nothing really that special otherwise. The green crates on this server don't seem very good. Alright, we're done with that pile of hot garbage. Let's go home. Alright, still trying to figure out the best way to make money is so I just kind of keep running Coastal Town as it's making me money. It's getting me gear sets. It's getting me random stuff. And I'm seeing people once in a while, so let's keep that up. Alright, I got a bunch more and I headed home. Uh, when I got back to the base, I noticed uh, there had been a plane crash. That's one of the events on the server, so I headed there to see what I could recover. Okay, the crates look like they're not on fire anymore. I must be a little late to get here and nobody's touched them, so I should do these quick and get the hell out of here. Okay, double explosive ammo. That's, that's not too bad. Usually there's a third crate, though. I can't see it anywhere. A new money making way on this server now seems to be is uh, going for walks in the forest for free dope. Because, uh, yeah, if you notice this, I just uh, kind of walk you know, certain areas of the map. Obviously not in the desert. Obviously not in the snow, but you find patches of these little tree kind of little foresty areas, right? And uh, look, at the, look at the amount of stuff I'm finding. Nice, gained a level. And we got some explosive grenade rounds from them too. Okay, I make it back with my uh, my harvest basically, and I decide, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff I just brought home and then stuff at base, so let's go process this and uh, 
you know, either get ready to sell it or store it until we do sell the rest of our stuff. Find a shotgun and a few other quick cool things while I'm waiting to process all that stuff. Gotta wait 80 seconds in between each batch. So instead of taking that all the way home, I just depoted that at uh, our new little base that's a little closer to the coastal town. And uh, you know, when I want to, I'll just come back and grab it. I was going to head straight back into the coastal town, uh, but then I saw the a helicopter going to drop off a lock crate at the suburbs there, right next to me. I figured I'd be the first one there, you know? Nice, that pistol's a thousand bucks and the bullet's sort of worth at least another thousand almost. Okay, let's start this thing up and we'll run to Coastal Town and run that while uh, we wait for the timer. I didn't realize it when I came here, but it's another control zone starting, so... We're going to try and run that for as long as possible and see if there's a, you know, a really good end reward. Because remember last time we tried this, uh, the server reset right at the end and we missed out to find out. Just bored hanging out while I wait for the control zone. Don't hear any in town so we get some level rewards. All right, here's what we've been waiting for. Do I get a big, big bonus for the end of the control zone? No. It looks like a big fat nothing. Wow, that's that's really stupid. Okay, not worth doing. Damn zombies, man. They come out of nowhere. You think you're done, and then they just like right up on you. All right, what did we get? Um, um, okay, I guess windmill, rocket launcher, door gun. Not a good trade. All right, I need money like always, so let's go get all those drugs that we processed and left in other base. All right, we're gonna take that back to the main base. We're gonna go grab everything else that I wanna sell right now along with those drugs. We're gonna take it to Outpost and get that money. How much money will we make this time? I keep thinking about how we were making like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars every run at the start hitting barrels and how slow that was. Alright, we ended up making a little over 27,000. That is not bad. And what do we do with it? We need to toss it into the bank machine. And we just used our uh, level bonus to uh, get a higher limit so I can put in 20k now which is actually pretty sweet. Let's do that and head back to the base. So we saved up enough money, we can upgrade the PC in the base again to the max. Now we can uh, replace these metal walls with armored walls again. We're just a little bit tougher for me. So I gotta upgrade these walls from the inside. Then after that, I gotta head outside and uh, replace the honeycombing and make that a little bit better. There we go, all patched up for now. I'm just gonna get some more stuff and make it metal in a little bit here. I don't wanna leave it stone. I'm just gonna go sell the rest of this junk really quick too. So we sold all that, eight, eight, nine grand, whatever, came back, scrolled that away, and then uh, popped right back out. So 
So, I had to go cut some more wood when did that. I won't bore you too much. Uh, as I was finishing, I found a plane crash proof. And it was one from earlier. I picked up the other two, but remember I was wondering if there was a third one? Well, there was, and it's been here for hours. Okay, I got back. I had to stoke those fires, get those furnaces rolling, and uh, it was time for me to log. This is the end of day four. We bounce back today, guys, but what's going to happen tonight when I log off? We're loading in, we're loading in, we're loading in. Okay, we made it. All right, we spawn, we look at the map right away, and I can see there's a lock crate down at the coastal town. Looks like where we're heading first. So I'm just killing zombies for experience. Ooh, this one drops a GL. I, don't, I know that doesn't seem that crazy on its own, but every other zombie drops GL shells and like the HE and stuff. It's just super useful on this server, right? Alright, we're gonna start that crate now. Killed this guy on the way up for some more cool loot. Can always use some scopes. As I was gonna run home, I noticed there was another crate at the mansion and I saw this horse, so you know, just worked out real good. So I was leaving, gonna go back to the base, and the horse is out of food. So luckily we found a car. Well that ended up being a pretty good trip. Plus I still gotta go get those two locked crates. That's another low money value crate. No explosives, no, just a couple guns and a door, basically. Alright, we're here. The moment of truth. Yeah, no, it's just another subpar crate. Let's just get this shit the hell back home quick here. Alright, we got back home. I had to probably eat for a little while or something because now it's night time and I am running the coastal town. Nothing too crazy, no action, just some, uh, some decent items. Alright, just run that all home, just like usual. Nah, nah, nah. I get home and I decide, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some more kits ready, so I do that quick too. Yeah, I was just uh, really stuck on trying to make progress here, and I really didn't know any other monument besides, you know, trying to run again to get drugs. Uh, there was no reliable other way of money, so I just keep going to Coastal Town. It's actually working. There's just, it's such a big town, there's so many zombies, and there's just always lots of loot. Alright, I run the town, I bring it all back, I get some decent stuff, and I head back to Coastal Town again, and I know. But you know, sometimes I find someone, sometimes something happens, and this time, something happens. Wow, there is some big ass raid going down, it is very close. I did a little bit of scouting and I didn't uh, record that part of it or show in the editing, but uh, there is a really giant three-man base just east of here on the coast, and uh, we should go check that out. Alright, under the cover of darkness, I'm creeping over. Don't worry, I've got my silencer and night vision too. That's it right there, I think. I was only sitting there for like a minute ago, you know, and I was like barely peeking my head. I don't know if I was silhouetting myself against the sun here, but that's pretty uh, pretty good that he saw me. That's their scrappy. They're all just right in there. Just didn't 
Did they just try to blow up their own chopper? What the? This is a probably a dumb idea looking at them from here, but I can't see nothing. Damn it, what the hell was that? Maybe I shouldn't sit here. I'm gonna get it moving. Damn it, I feel like they're watching me. Oh, shit. Now it sounds like two different people at least. Now nobody's killing me. Oh my god, I got up, but I got no weapons. Now this guy with a silenced gun killed me. This guy is J Rock. He's been in the chat talking like a little leech. Just a little uh, nut sucker. These uh, this big group just begging them for scraps and now he's outside defending the raid telling him, oh I helped you I helped you I, I saved you from the counter raider felt like it would be hard to go back there and do anything considering there's like a, at least two different groups there if not more um, anyway decided to just go to a different crate on uh, the mansion and then he was already there he already started the crate and ba -bang, ba -bang, bang I'm dead Admittedly, slightly frustrated, I uh, went to Coastal Town almost naked because I could get clothes and a gun, probably a gun and whatever I needed there real easy. So I just spawned close and that's what I did. So I was telling you that little J-Rock guy was nut hugging those uh, the dudes that raided that base just now. He was uh, conversing with them in chat, asking them to leave them scraps and they were saying, oh, the base will be free in five minutes, you can come get all the scraps. So I headed over there with some guns to ambush them. I go move and reposition. I haven't seen him yet. I'm not sure if he's come or gone, if he's inside or what. So I'm just looking around, scanning the horizon, and oh, there he appears. He just popped out of the base. Now if I can just hit my shots. Damn, that's not good. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you believe that all my millions and millions of followers and subscribers and watchers? I got him. I got him. Oh, he's got some juice on him too. He's got a lot of bullets. He's got some metal frags. He's got armor and tees. He's got nails. He's got a little backpack. Hazmat. Not too shabby. Well, we got to get back there quick to make sure there isn't more just sitting there. Okay, so I'm trying to kind of not really creep up, but I want to make sure I see him if he's going in or out again. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just get in there then, I guess. Hmm. I don't hear him so far. I haven't heard a peep this whole time. This is a weird ass looking base. Kind of looks like a big ship or something like that. I don't know if that's what they were doing. Damn it! Oh, I put a couple shots into the wall right next to his head. I should have had that. Okay, well, I'm not that great, but he doesn't seem that great either, so I think I can take him. Let's head back there right away, and hopefully he's still there, or coming back at least again. I brought the rifle back again and sat on that cliff for a while, but he never showed. I figured I'd just head on in, you know what I mean, see if there's anything left. Damn, he must have been really full when he just killed me, because he didn't take my gun or anything early. Wow, this is definitely a huge base, and it's all armored. The upkeep on this thing must be huge. Lots of stuff I don't need. Man, a lot of scraps. Maybe some clones, I don't know. I don't like having a farm, I'm never gonna have a farm.
Hmm, a scrumptious feast. Don't mind if I do. Feels like there's gonna be a lot left. I'm gonna make some room in my inventory here. Plus, like, what is this water over here? Holy, that's a lot of bullets. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Lots of meh. I don't really need stone, stuff like that. Kits are cool. The metal kits I can sell. I just get changed and I'm picking everything up. And I hear some footsteps. Ooh, damn, that was close. Almost bled out and everything. Oh, that was nice of him to come back to bring us some PvP, my kit back, and a backpack. Alright, we're getting as full as we can on all the like metal gear and jackhammers and anything like that that I can sell at the outpost, and then we are gone. Phew. Made it home with another full inventory of loot thanks to their raid. Not bad. I went back again just to get some more stuff just to make sure I figured out pretty much anything I could sell. Free stuff's free stuff, you know? Okay, so we did that. We went back to the base. We got it all bundled up in my inventory. And now we're off to the outpost to sell what we can and see what kind of money we made. Okay, we made a cool 10 grand there. We go ferry that home real quick. And I think I got some more stuff to sell, so we're gonna head right back again. After it's all said and done, I think we're just shy of 18 Gs. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, all together, you know, I don't know if it was all just from the raid, but most of it was. It's like at least, let's say, 25k. Not bad for just hanging out, getting some PvP, doing something different at least. It wasn't running Coastal Town again, you know? I think you guys know what the goal of all this money is. It's all got, uh... It's all got a specific purpose. It's going in a piggy bank just to raid that other next base that's right next to us here at the outpost. It's right next to my base and the outpost. That can't exist. It's got metal. It's got armor. I guarantee you there's some juice in there. We need to get it gone. But before we do that, we got to make sure we're not too easy of a target. I was talking earlier about replacing those back stone walls with metal. So we're going to spend like just even a little bit of the money we made right now on some sheet metal and stuff, okay? Now we can make some sizable upgrades, definitely. And we got all those free nails from the raid too, right? Here we go, big upgrade time. You actually need sheet metal, nails, metal fragments, and high quality to do metal walls into armored walls. So it's like crazy expensive, hey?
Alright, so I didn't want to, but I had to spend a little bit more money on materials to kind of finish the upgrade. You, you can see how extensive an upgrade of it is. Uh, also, like I said, that it requires sheet metal for each piece. Um, and frags, so this isn't that, uh, that vanilla, you know, original mode of DayZ, uh, Project Lazarus that you see Brit play. This is the hardcore one, you know? Your base is so much more important on this server than on normal Rust servers. Normal Rust servers, not yeah, it's hard to get going on this one. If you don't have a base, it's so hard to build a new base, so... Uh, you just need it. Alright, after all that, there shouldn't be more than one like little odd stone piece on the whole thing. Uh, very expensive, like I said, all armored doors. Uh, it's at least a metal wall and an armored wall to loot, and that's if you pick the perfect way. And uh, maybe actually one more than that, uh, just because you gotta go down a floor. But uh, some ways it's much more than that. Anyway, that's what we're working with right now. I feel like it's a pretty random design. There was no plan solo on our top harvest server. Uh, yeah, not too bad, right? So I'm just out here getting rocks and stuff. And uh, I'm completing quests just by accident. Kind of like that. So I ended up tossing all the stone that I farmed, I just did it for experience, got a pretty full load. Head back, see this car, let's grab that, take it home. It's like beyond handy that cars spawn with parts and gas on the server. Uh, it just makes getting around so much easier. Kind of crappy I went at night time, but felt like I wanted to go and explore more of the map, so I went and took the car, went for a long drive, just looking for places and stuff like that. I drove around half the map, and then I realized there was one of those plane crash events right next to Lazarus Town, so I looped back over there. <laughs> As I'm watching this, they're right in front of the car, and I'm like, where are they? <laughs> well, that's not a bad crate. Where's the next one? No, here we are. Oh, that one's not bad. I like getting doors and uh, rockets. And eventually, after a lot of searching, I find the last one. And it's bullets and no ore. That's not too bad. We were really close to base, so I just drove home. Alright, I drove around and explored. Got a plane crash. I'm gonna go back to where I dropped off my car, and what do I find here? That, uh, that person that was all upset at me, Sable, their base is decaying, it looks like. <clears throat> I wonder what kind of goodies they'll have for us. Let's just pretend that box is completely empty, because it basically was. No trap under here, okay. And nothing in there. Alright, alright, that's like three grand worth of drugs. exciting in those two boxes, but I'm full of other stuff, so I'm just going to run that home and grab some more tools to break into the rest. Oh, there she is. The angry lady herself. Sable. Nothing. And then, also nothing. Okay, finally something. That's good. A little bit of building stuff. Nice high fall. 
Got some metal bags. All right. Plus some rifle ammo, pistol ammo, explo bullets, a couple of hazies, night vision, military backpack, Jackie. Okay, that was definitely worth uh, the zero I spent to get in here. Okay, just gotta go break the TC and a couple more small things. Well, I guess that's why it's decaying. I was just hoping there'd be some cash in there, you know? A little bit of stuff in the locker, too. Take that, and uh, that's it. That's all she wrote from uh, Sable's base. Thanks again. While we were finishing up there at Sable's base, I noticed uh, a notification come across for uh, the Chinook's going to drop one of those hackable crates at Coastal Town. So that's where we're headed now. Get number 15. All right, so I was running around looting the town after starting the crate, and the server's going to restart. So I just parked upstairs in a different spot. As you can see, I don't think I'm in a weird spot. I'm not on a chair. I'm not in the air in a weird way. I'm just literally on the second floor of a building hiding behind something. <clears throat> and when I load in, guess what? I'm dead. Dead to nobody too, which sucks. So that was just a glitch. So I guess we're just gonna run back, see if we can get our stuff and the crate, etc. And when I get here, there's nothing. Now I, I live really close. It only takes a couple seconds to get here. It just disappeared my body in the loot. That was a glitch. Dying's one thing, but then making me lose my whole run here at Coastal Town. That sucks. That lock crate wasn't open yet, so uh, I just depoted all the loot I'd gathered so far in my little close base and then ran back in there to get all that stuff. Alright, it's time to find out. Not that great of a crate. And I'm getting run up on now. Great. I don't know if I expected that happening. Uh, when the screen's like this all around the edges, it basically means I'm infected. Uh, it's gonna last for a minute or two and it's just draining my health like crazy. So if you don't have uh, antibacterial medicine, which is anti-rads, uh, you're healing a lot or you're gonna die. All right, I went on that run, like I said, here's what I got. And then here's my inventory now after as we're getting ready to go take everything I had for drugs at the base and go process it. Just going to run over to my trusty spot at Coastal Town. I can hop on the roof when I'm there, just right next to it and kind of see all around me a lot better. Okay, we toss it in and I fast forward a bunch because you do not want to wait 80 seconds times each batch. Alright, we did that. Usually when I go process the drugs too, I have a bunch of other stuff in base I want to sell. So, go back to base, we get all of the other stuff, add it up with the drugs, and now we're heading uh, to the outpost to cash in. Wow, 22 grand just for the drugs that time. That is a big payday. After selling all that, I kind of realized I went up a few levels on the last time I uh, did something. So I open up my little menu and I uh, bring it up and now I find out I can up my ATM capacity a bit here, which is super helpful. But this money is not destined for the bank. This money is destined for Boom Boom. All right, we're gonna take that home, store that. We're gonna take some more stuff from the base. We're gonna go sell it. Okay, it wasn't that much. I only made five grand, so that's okay. Five grand though. And then uh, I have some more level bonuses to get. Uh, so we get, we get those. This is a bunch of stuff actually. I have some cash in there, like 10 grand I can grab, so that's handy. And then we're gonna grab uh, a bunch of money out of my ATM here too. 
dropped 14k, I believe, of the available 20. Uh, and uh, we're going to start buying some more raiding materials because I really want to get this thing popping. All right, we got about 30 grand, so we're going to do the same thing, I think. I'm going to get two C4 and one rocket. I like the C4 kind of as a solo. It makes raiding sometimes a little quicker than trying to have to reload the rocket launcher so many times. All right, you can see the explosives are starting to build up, but uh, I don't know if it's quite enough yet. Take some money from the TC that I got stored up, and let's go buy some more. All right, we buy that. We take it home. Yeah, I know, big surprise. Okay, then I decide to use my 3,750 RP reputation points. It's up in the top left of the screen underneath my level. Uh, those have been building up for when you get a kill or when you do those control zones, stuff like that. And then uh, there's different crates you can have. And then uh, it's basically a random thing to see if you get the good prize or not. So we're going to do that a bunch. So out of all that, the only really decent thing I felt like I got was a launcher and maybe the Ensign. Um, maybe a little HE. I don't know if it gives me just one though, or two, or three, or what. So, yeah, it doesn't seem that great. There was another lock crate that just dropped at the suburb, which is super close to my base. So I headed there. Oh, get back here. You're not going nowhere. Uh-oh, where'd he go? <laughs> that sucks. Oh, damn. Bro, that wasn't a slug. Well, I'm definitely not going in there. Doesn't seem like he has another gun. Okay, we got him, but he hit me with that crossbow. It's not a bad shot, that's for sure. But damn, he had the poop loot on him. And uh, I make the mistake here, guys, of not finishing him off in time and he dies, or he F1s himself, either way. But I don't get the reward points, the art redemption points, the RP points, whatever the hell you call it, because I didn't finish him. Meh, another meh crate. At least it's got some guns, I guess, like the AK and stuff. But uh, yeah, the crate didn't open for like another 7-8 minutes, so uh, he never tried to come back. I don't think he had much. Alright, we're home with that stuff. Uh, if you can see my inventory there, we've got a bunch of good stuff to sell. I've got a sacrifice, uh, that extra launcher I just got, a good AK, a good bolt, all that good stuff just to make some more money for this raid. Made another 17k there, uh, and decided that I was going to empty the whole piggy bank that we were going to go send it this time. Alright, we can afford two more C4, I think that's it, and then we are going to get this raid popping. Alright, home can see what we got. 11 C4, we got three rockets, a bunch of explo, a bunch of HE grenades, we got incense, we got a supply signal, and even a couple satchels. So just within the last day, I think, uh, I've got a turret and a windmill, luckily, just to be picking up crates and drops, etc. Uh, we're going to use that and build a little raid base here next to it, because this is going to be a, a lot of boom boom getting used, and uh, I don't want anybody coming to counter. 
Okay, let's go set up the power first. We gotta get that windmill up there. Kaboom. Okay, let's go drop place the turret. Wired up all pretty like. Now connect it. Boom chakalaka. We got a turret. Alright, I didn't bring the boom yet. I just set up the play base. Now we're gonna go back get that and get started. Bring in pretty much everything besides all the incense. I'm gonna come back if I need them, but I don't see any turrets, so. Okay, let's depot most of that and uh, let's throw the supply signal that I got earlier too. Your night time is a good time to throw it, and uh, I also got a turret here, so I don't know why not. And we are not having to wait for the daytime. I brought night vision just so we can get this started right now. <laughs> kind of what I was expecting, to be honest. Okay, let's go through that. That's obviously the juice. I think the satchels will break that. Okay, we're in. And I see TC. Okay, let me just switch my gear around real quick. Okay, this is looking good. Let's uh, let's break one more door before we get in there and seal it. I want to make sure I build it so that the door I put down is like directly facing my turret. What's going on right now is I'm desperately searching for a door, and uh, I go through a lot of the loot here, and I can't find one right away. So after I pick this guy clean and everything, just so I can have a gun or whatever, I, uh, I get out of there, and I think I have to run home to get one. Alright, so yeah, let's just drop off a little bit of loot, and grab that door, and head back. My airdrop that I called with that supply signals here, that's nice. C4 and a rocket, that's awesome. Great timing, that's clutch. Alright, let's get in there and slap this new on the door on there. Let's continue the boom boom. beds and another sleeper so far it's at least a duo boys all right back up and let's use those uh grenade HE shells to open up that door all right another door and we broke half of this one all right where did that get us all right, we got kits, and we got, oh, we got boom, 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 nice, and some bullets, not bad. Kind of seems like we just found all the best loot, but I don't really want to see what's behind all these other doors. All right, what do we get, what do we get, what do we got? 100 high qual, a kit, some nails, oh, not too bad. Okay, well, let's keep going. Okay, so the C4 wasn't enough. That's fine. Let's use these eight grenades.
now that I'm done hurting myself. Let's go in there. More doors. Great. At least that one got splashed. Alright. Looks like we found some loot again. Wow, that's a lot of shells. There's the doors I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, not worth all the boom boom to come up here. If I had just quit while I was ahead, oh my god, this is so profitable. Rock, three rockets wasted just to find uh, the entrance to the base through the top. At least I can pick up this window over here with my hammer. Yeah, yeah, no. I guess I'm just a completionist at this point here. We gotta break it. Alright, that loops us right back around to where we blew in the first time. Alright, now we have literally searched everything in this base. I was just getting loot together to leave, and uh, I hear a car running around. I'm thinking, where is this guy? It sounded like he was gone, but now he's back again. Who does this guy think he is? Man down! Man down! Oh, it's this guy from earlier. Killed him before. Alright, let's get back to our pillaging here. We are literally as close to outpost as you can build, uh, so I'm just gonna run it right there and sell it. Made a cool 20 G's there. We're gonna toss it right in the ATM so we can't lose it or have it stolen. Replenish my supply. All right, grab another full load of stuff there. We'll take it back to sell that too. We got about eighteen and a half thousand that time, not bad, so I think that's what thirty-eight thousand from the raid so far. Grab another bunch of stuff, take it back, sell it. I think we make another about seven grand. So we're up to what forty-five. And now I drop that little bit of cash off there. And we go inside and we're starting to grab all the good stuff that I want to take home with me. All the leftover explosives. Any building supplies, anything just, you know, good quality. Clearly I'm going to have to come back at least once more. Alright, drop that off, let's go back get more. Definitely want all these rockets, the high qual, that kind of stuff. scraps behind. I figured if I could recycle the shotgun shells and make money that way, why not? Alright, just gotta come back here to get the turret and take the door off the base and we're done. Kind of surprised nobody else came around during all the explosions and me calling in the supply drop.
Damn, there's so much stuff there. It looks like I do have to come back yet again to get the turret and the last of it. It's a very uh, profitable raid despite wasting a little bit of extra stuff at the end. I knew those guys would have a lot of loot in there just looking at the simple kind of base. They had a helicopter and a horse outside all the time. There was armored, so I knew their base was upgraded like their TC anyway, you know. Alright, officially one more raid done. So it's a new day, and there's yet another locked crate at the suburb southwest of my base. Let's go. I didn't know what those sounds were, but I think this guy was trying to fight the zombies with a melee weapon. <laughs> at the same time, just over at the Mashin, which is northeast of my base, uh, there was another lock crate. So it just ripped across there while we're waiting for one to open to start the next one. So I'm back at the suburbs waiting for the crate to unlock and I just want to run into a house while I wait so I'm not standing in the open. And yeah, this guy's sitting there waiting for me. I had absolutely no idea he was there. He must have heard me kill the zombies and uh, just sat and waited. Unless the crate has C4 or rockets or gold or something like that, it's a shitty crate to me. It's the value of it is just so much less. Okay, we depoed that one. Let's head back to the mansion and check on that crate. Damn, man, I'm getting no luck. This is like, this is like zombie loot. Alright, we take uh, that lock crate home, and uh, I decide I need to uh, do some scouting. That J-Rock guy must live in the desert near that last base, he's able to come back and forth pretty quick. And uh, yeah, I'd like to find out where he lives, if not uh, you know, in the next raid target. So it, it's always good to have those things ahead of time. Look at this oddity of a base. All stone, windmill off by itself on a separate building for some reason. Hmm. Foundations are pretty high. Probably a bunker. You know what, just based on where this is, I think that was J-Rock's base. I search around, I find some more raided stuff. Uh, and I just start making my way home. I'm pretty sure I found what I was looking for. Alright, that was it for day five. What'd you guys think of that? Had a little bit of action, had a raid. Uh, just kind of showing off a little bit of the loot just in case we get raided overnight. Uh, yeah, I'll check you guys out tomorrow if we survive. All right, start of day six. It's beautiful. We're not raided. We made it again. We're rich. Let's do stuff. Then I had to go sell some more odds and ends. I don't know where I keep getting these things from, but I guess I brought it home yesterday. We make about 12k and uh, we take that home, add it to the bank stash we got in my uh, PC here. Brings us 
goes up to another like 35 plus another I think 20 in the bank account so we're up to like 55 again not too shabby all right another lock crate in coastal town let's go And for lock crate number 19, what are we going to get? Wah, wah, wah. Like, it's better than a punch in the mouth, but not by much. Free card is waiting for me, don't mind if I do. I'm not dropping this load off at the base, we're going right to outpost to sell it. Another 10 G's, not too bad. I don't know if this is getting to a point of ridiculousness for you yet, but it seems like there's almost always crates spawning. If there wasn't, I would do something else. But if there was, what's the point? Like, it's potentially thousands and thousands of dollars, right? Anyway, we're heading back to the match, and there's another crate there. Ooh, another turret just from the zombie. That's nice. <clears throat> a couple AKs on bad, but uh, it's not the same as C4. We'll take them though, we'll take them. Oh, it seems like someone else was looking for that crate too. I got out just in time. I don't know who that was to this day, but he's a dick. So I'm getting all loaded up here. I'm going to go do large oil rig. That's my plan right now. So I can go down this one skill tree and use some of my skill points to get a supply signal that will call me down a rowboat, basically. Uh, that's all I need right now. I just need some way to get there without going to a fishing village. I think I'm set. Let's make our journey. It's funny, I'm just running along the water and I had no idea there was one of those plane crash events right here on the beach. Anyway, I'll take all that. I didn't really want a full backpack before I went, but uh, yeah, let's call down this boat and head out there now that I can see it right in front of me. So just after I threw my rowboat, the server reset, uh, I ended up not losing the rowboat, but uh, what happened was large rig was up, and then uh, now it's down as I drive out there. I finally drive the boat out there after the reset, and oil rig's down. I know when no one's taken it, uh, but that was a big piss off coming out here getting the boat and everything. So now I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'll go break into the Lazarus Bank and do that. Just as I get all this stuff and leave, someone else does it. So I depot my stuff, and now I'm gonna go counter them breaking into Lazarus Bank. I tried to kinda sneak through the city a little bit only to have like 50 zombies chase me when I finally get to the bank so my whole element of surprise is kind of ruined there okay I wonder if he's sitting here waiting okay I guess he dipped out I don't know if he went home or what he's doing Got you. Look who it is. Look who it is. Couldn't have happened to a nicer person. Oh, I get a little payback, so it's nice, right? 
he still had like eight and a half minutes left. He never came back, so. I can't resist spraying a clip with these guys. From there, I went straight to the outpost next to my base to sell all this stuff. 19.5 from stealing that guy's bank heist. That's not too bad. Didn't cost me nothing but a couple bullets. Thanks, J Rock. I'll get another rocket to C4 on you, buddy. J Rock, baby. J Rock, baby. Oh, damn. I'm just, just running home from the outpost to drop that stuff off. And guess who's door camping me? J Rock. He is molding. Molding over that. Now he's resorted to door camping. So this guy was a little upset with me now. He didn't like the tables getting turned. But, you know, you gotta be careful when you pick on someone like me who spends a lot of time on the server, because uh, I already scouted, and I already am pretty sure I found his base. So, uh, we're gonna have to pay this guy back. I've already got some stuff built up from the last raid already, again. And uh, that's gonna be my goal for today, is to make him have a not so good day. Got that 20k from the bank, and now we're gonna run large oil. That's gonna get us tons of loot, tons of money. I'm gonna use it to buy a whole kind of boom for that guy. That wasn't a bad start, but now they're all piling down on the staircase underneath where I can't shoot them, and they only come up when I really expose myself. So I figure I'll throw this grenade and kill them all. Well, the grenade hits the right spot and hits them, but they kill me, and it leads to frustration. Now, I don't like to give up, and I was annoyed, so I had to get back out there. I had to run all the way across the map to the east, and buy a boat, and then sail all the way south to get to the rig again. Except I couldn't buy a boat because they didn't bring enough money. It's a separate cost on this server, so or, uh, luckily, there was one sitting out in the water. I had to swim to it for a bit, though. Alright, so now I'm back, but they're rushing me, and I didn't plan for this, and I got a feeling I'm gonna get fucked over pretty bad here. Ah, I don't like wasting time like this, having to like go all the way back there. You know, any like extra profit I would have made by doing a good monument has lost any efficiency due to me having to go back three times. No more messing around. Nice, all my loot's still there. Okay, sweet. Okay, I had to swipe the red card again, even though I was in here. Didn't get that much from that crate. And we're going to count that as a locked crate, by the way, on my tally thing. Um, well, I guess there's at least a C4 in here. Doesn't seem that profitable. These other green crates are shit. I think I'm going to declare that a waste of time for me at least, especially since I died so much. I 
I guess I forgot to edit it in, but uh, I had a supply signal from all that. I threw it when I got back to base, and now it's down. Taking all my money from the TC at base and everything else I had to sell, and I'm gonna buy some more explosives. Okay, we sell all that, come over here to the bank machine, it's filled up, and we'll take it all out. I'm going all out again on a raid. Look at that beautiful cash, 85 G's in my hands. Six more C4 and two more rockets. That is a big chunk of boom boom right there. All right, I have 60 HE grenades. I have eight C4. I have five rockets, and I have 190 explo rounds. Let's break into J Rock's base. At least what I think is J Rock's base, anyway. Where to break in? Where to break? In. I think I'm just gonna smash that wall I'm just looking at there, but let's go up top and have a look see. Mm hmm. Looks like your standard 2x2 two two design. Huh. Nothing very special. I do think it's a bunker though, because the foundations are quite high. I brought a raid base and everything with all the turrets, everything I needed. Except I didn't bring nails and cement. So, I just said, fuck it, I stashed my raid base supplies, and I put it in there. Alright, alright, I was expecting metal, that's okay. Nobody's right next to us here. Nobody seems to be coming. Oh, I'm glad this isn't armored. Mm, nothing going on up here. Let's go see what we broke into. Oh, a couple sleepers. But not J Rock, actually. So maybe he doesn't live here? I got too much crap on me, I gotta go stash some more of this stuff out of the way so I can continue to do I don't know, I'm getting a good vibe from this, I think there's gonna be some loot in there. Ah, see, it was a bunker. Okay, it's probably PC back there. Alright, alright. Okay, let's get out of here and shoot some rockets and then break that door. Sounds like we broke a flame trap through the wall. And there is the TC. With that broken, let's seal ourselves in here. Alright, a little safer now. Ooh, there's a foot through the wall there. Who is it? Oh, it is our friend J Rock. We are in the right base after all. Praise, praise be. Alright, now he'll wake up to a nice message and be very happy. All his friends as well. Let's check out some of this loot now. Let's see what we got in these boxes. Not much in those first two. Ah, 
they don't need those beds. They can use that to finish locking them out of their own base. We got some meds. And, you know, if we move on, we got a whole box of ammo. At least this guy's organized, you know. Move up under there. We got, uh, in the middle, we got a couple rockets. Not much. Not even real rockets. We got his guns. An M2 in there. That's okay, I guess. Rocket launcher. Just some random extra components and cards. Let's put our own bed in there. And we can pop back and forth easier. Nothing in there. Oh, some building supplies. All right, that's technically another raid done. And uh, now I'm just gonna transfer loot for a while. That guy was just about to throw down a compound too. It's so expensive, I don't understand why you'd wanna do that. Like how hard is it to get through a wooden wall? There's so much free fire ammo and you're gonna spend 50, 60 Gs on that? Like just for your base, it's pointless. I think we ended up getting 41 G's out of that, that's crazy. So uh, I went and filled up my bank machine to the max, and then, uh, yeah, let's take it back to our base, and then I'll suicide and just spawn over there again. So I spawned back over there, got a full load of gear, ran it back, and now I'm just showing you me selling it. That way you didn't have to see me get it, run it back here, all that stuff, trying to save it for you, trying to save your time, you know? Another 11, 12 Gs, turret, windmill, M249, you know, has these, that kind of stuff. It's been, uh, been pretty good. I'm just gonna F1 kill again, go back over there, get more stuff. Alright, load it up, coming home again. I always try to take all this extra ammo and shit, man. I'll just recycle it if nothing else. Alright, that was definitely all his loot. Thanks, J Rock, and your friends for that. And uh, I would have left you alone if you ever watching this. If you just not door cat me. Uh, now we're back on the coastal town where there's another lock crate everyone They're all running in some like hypnotic pattern to not fight me All right, very minimal crate again can't even sell the LR 300s because they're the military guns so uh, yeah So I hit that lock creek and then uh, I remember there was a little base on the coast by G-Rocks that had a couple wood walls and uh, well I have a lot of incendiary rockets that I haven't used at all so I figured why not. Barbecued that poor bastard that was in there right in his base. Alright, he had a drug, building supplies, AK, uh, and then on his body over here a little bit of a kit and stuff, so I don't know, it's worth a rocket or two I'll probably never use. You can't expect much from the DC on a base like that. Alright, I'm always trying to keep my drop boxes empty. Everything in the main base is kind of full, so let's go sell this stuff again. Okay, I'm out of there with another 12 and a half K. Not too shabby. Alright, there's no lock crate this time. I just went to the suburbs to process some drugs. Alright, I'm a lock crate. Somewhere different. Felt like it. Okay, bunch of random zombies around, got lots of little trinkets from them too, process all that stuff, and then we are back out of here.
outpost is almost on the way home from the suburbs there, so I just figured I'd drop it all off, sell it before I take it home. Alright, so we did all that. It's almost time for me to log off for day six again, but before we did that, I needed to take care of something. That J-Rock guy had a little farm base next to his base, and unless I go there and take care of that, within a day or two, he'll be up and running and able to raid me. The farms on the server are very overpowered, so I had to go over there and take care of it. Pretty cheap though, one sheet metal door. Yeah, see this farm's not even that big, but it's big enough where he'll make, you know, 50, 100 grand, two or three times a day, right? Just off running this thing. Oh, nice, he's got turrets in here and some drugs for me too, all right. I was thinking I was just gonna, you know, grief him. His TC's just through there, so I sent an instant in. Alright, let's get our own TC down. Let's get a door on this thing. Alright. Now time for the really fun part. That's probably good enough for now. And now I can leave with a big smile on my face, feeling like, yeah, he'll he'll wake up tomorrow and regret what he did. Damn, I guess I drove over there one more time. We got a whole bunch more gear at least, hey. Literally took everything, guys. Yeah, they can wake up and start from scratch. Alright, just getting back home, about to log off, end of day 6, another big raid, and a lot of loot in the base, just trying to show it off, okay? Just at least show you what I have, uh, in case, you know, we get offline or something, and then, you know, you don't see how rich I am, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, we got rid of a rival tonight, good night's sleep. See you guys hopefully in the AM. Alright, another day, another dollar. Look at us waking up all stacked on our base after raiding. Bunch of money in the TC, bunch of explosives left over. Not too shabby at all. Now, I don't remember why I went to suburb. I don't see it on the footage here, but I'm, I'm guessing there was a lock crate. Wow, I got lucky there. I turned the corner, I missed my first couple shots. Yeah, I guess there was no lock crate, because I don't have it on the footage of me going back. I just go back to my base here, and I take a couple level rewards again. I take a bunch of them, and then uh, I decide not to take the one for 15 grand cash and uh, the raiding supplies because that can get stolen from me. So if I ever get raided, uh, that's no good. This way, it's basically like keeping money and rockets in the bank. Think of it that way. And then another one of these plane crash things happened uh, pretty soon after, like in between my base and coastal town. So that's like one square, not even away. I had to go scoop that up. Man, I have so many instants and APs right now, it's kind of crazy. 
All right, we got all that, and uh, I thought to myself, well, I've pissed a bunch of people off, and it'd be, uh, I don't know, pretty easy for someone to just, like, set up a turret outside my front door or something, I'd be hooped. So I just put, uh, basically some PCs out there, nothing too crazy, just hopefully stop people from even building right in front of me and griefing me. Okay, we did that, now we're off to the mansion, northeast of the base again in the desert, another locked crate there. Right through the crate. Out. That's crazy. That must be a glitch. Just tried to kill all the zombies around. Uh, went back to the crate. Still needed to kill some more time. Just went to that other suburb that's kind of close to here. It's a little to the southeast of this. Killed a few zombies in the suburb there, and uh, nothing special. Just came back after the crate. Started. That was a really low value crate. Like almost nothing I can sell for anything. It's almost kind of funny. I don't know if it's funny, but uh, I get home from that, getting that lock crate at the mansion there, and uh, I go to leave, and there's literally a helicopter bringing another crate to the mansion. So I boost there right away, get it started, and then decide to go run coastal town while I wait just to keep making money and stay moving. So I got a decent haul from there, uh, got it back in the car, drove it home, and then we gotta go get that locked crate. And boom, we're off, just ripping through the desert along the tracks in the middle of the night. Not dangerous at all. This better be a good one this time. Okay, yeah, four AK, I'll take that, finally. That's at least like 13, 14 grand right there. All right, we're back. Now I got a whole inventory of stuff out of my base that I'm gonna go sell. Alright, what is this going to add up to? Making a good 22 G's here, I like that. At least, you know what, we're going to do with that right away. We're going to buy 2 C4. Alright, we brought that C4 home. And uh, I don't know why I decided to go do this control zone. Uh, I don't really like them. I don't think they're that worth it now that I'm watching this again. But here we go. I went and did another one. A lot of random stuff in that hall, uh, except for these last two zombies I killed. He's got a good pistol, it's worth a thousand bucks, and then two Tommies that are worth a thousand bucks each, so yeah, kill those zombies. I was just leaving my base, and uh, I noticed the airdrop coming down just uh, north of me here, uh, so let's go for that. Damn, that's crap compared to the last one. Alright, so now I ended up heading back to Coastal Town. I forget if there was a crate there or what, but there was a control zone. I don't think I went for it. I was just kind of looting the town, minding my own business. I didn't hear anything. Oh shit, he was waiting at the top of the stairs. I missed every shot. Oh man, oh man, oh man. No, oh, the poor bastard lost me behind the thing here. Damn, he's pretty low to you guys. He just did a fat run. Oh. Damn, thanks for the juice, son. We out like trout.
so after teasing that guy who's no longer got a base and uh, selling all that stuff from the guy I just killed, I'm in a pretty good mood, you know? So, because I've got uh, so much hate brewing and I'm just so full of building supplies already, um, I think I'm going to do a, a big upgrade pretty soon here. Damn, I'm one thick, juicy piece of ass. Look at this shit. So now I begin this big building project. Basically, the whole thing is to add just one more layer of metal honeycomb to the base. So right now it's about one to two metal walls and one armor wall. Um, in the smallest spot, I think it's only one metal wall and an armor wall. So we're just trying to add one more the whole way around. Why not? I got plenty. So I just did a big upgrade, but uh, I ran out of sheet metal. Uh, let's get more. Just a little bit, you know, nothing too major. Just, you know, 300 pieces. Okay, let's get that stuff back home and let's get back to being Bob the Builder here. This upgrade will of course include a whole new half wall uh, layer on top. put like 600 plus pieces of sheet metal on this base. No joke. Let's see what it looks like during the daytime. She's a thick one, eh? Especially for a solo on a hardcore server like this with half gather. It's all metal with an armored core. Come on. I've been grinding my ass off here. So I just, just finished that huge upgrade and I was about to go outside and my screen locks up. I have been banned temporarily for griefing. So, you guys have seen the footage, especially if we look back. I put a TC in his base with no lock. I left one door, one sheet door, locked on his base and on his farm base. Is that griefing? In what world of rust is that griefing? So, after two hours of back and forth messages with the admin, uh, they agreed with me that it was not griefing and that they were misinformed and lied to, basically. Uh, of the severity of this and uh, by the time I get back in I am raided by the same people for the third time now excessive griefing that is excessive griefing I raided this guy once I've been raided by the same three-man group as a solo for three times now that is what kills server pop guys So yeah, pretty much nothing left. Some meds, uh, no guns, just some fucking shit armor. Just really nothing's left in the whole base at all. The only thing that's even worth salvaging is the base. Um, I have no time left. I gotta go to work. So my big thing is, you know, I'm just gonna try to seal it real fast. While I listen to this guy whine and chat about having one lock on his base. Uh, so I go to the outpost eventually here, and I, uh, I grab some money out of the ATM. That's what it's for. Uh, and I get some building supplies and stuff and just come seal it up real quick and then uh, yeah then I gotta head to work for a bit guys and uh, hopefully yeah
best I can do right now, too. Uh, I don't have enough time to even bother with getting some metal, metal frags, all that kind of stuff. Even if I got money, I just gotta go. I gotta get to work right now. So, stone, stone, stone. Let's close this up. All right, I'm back from work and I got some time to play now. Uh, so my goal is just uh, beef the base back up to, you know, what it was at least, right? And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I don't know, there'll be some semblance of control from the admins here that these guys will not try to raid me again, the same people. I feel like there's not many other groups that probably could raid me. So just the fact it's the same people every time is pretty annoying. Anyway, I'm back here at Coastal Town, just trying to get my loot back sort sort it out just get guns get ammo get everything ready again i'm not giving up don't you worry storing every little bit of cash i can in the atm i don't know if i'm gonna get raided again the base isn't exactly safe uh, i gotta get back there after i'm gonna reorganize everything uh, this box is all broken so anyway just putting everything back together here and then we're out but we uh, only still have a crossbow driving around here in coastal town uh, and like I said don't really have a gun so we're gonna use the car to kill these zombies all right so we hit our first lock crate again since that was great and that's yeah, not a great crate but I need the guns real bad so it is a great crate and I can use that armor door as well I really honestly didn't want to farm a lot more nodes. My base was kind of almost as big as it's going to get, and uh, now I have no uh, metal at all, so that's what we're doing. Alright, I dropped it off, and I should have done this a lot earlier, but it worked better. Uh, I decided to build a loot drop-off base just on the edge of Coastal Town, like on the edge of where I can build, and that way every time I make a run, I can go deep out, run back in, deep out, run back in, deep out, run back in. That was the idea. That together and then I got right to work and honestly if I want to get at having fun the rest of this wipe I would need to really grind because I had a lot of stuff guys and it all just got taken from me again so after they raided me last time I was kind of going to forget about it because they were so big but now now that's who I want to raid I want to raid the biggest trio on the server did you hear me I said, I'm going to get revenge. Alright, so I did that a few times. Now there's a lock created suburb again. Let's go get that. Okay, we started at night time. Boom, it's open in daytime. Okay, another lock crate down, take that home, and I saw another plane crash on the map, so I hopped in the car, drove there really fast. Okay, that's not terrible, I can work with all that. Uh, I've never found a third one again, only two. So again, I don't know if I'm just missing them every time, or if it's two or three, because I have seen three before. I actually don't remember if uh, I got all this while I was in the raid recently or if somehow they didn't get this during the raid. I think they got everything during the raid, to be honest. So let's just say I got this recently. You guys know what we're going to go do with this. we got to go process this before we can sell it. Got to take it to somewhere that's not a safe zone, all right? Let's go. Okay, just like always, I'm going to make you watch that. We'll process and it'll all be done all at once. Great, let's go. Okay, we're done. We use our car. We boot over that little base we have just next to this thing here, next to Coastal Town. We store it in there. Run in. Drop that off. Run out. Run into the town. Quickly run it. Well, not quickly, because now it's nighttime. Yeah, I'm just trying not to waste you guys' time too much. Just showing you that I'm doing these big runs, you know? 
I didn't save a good clip of it, but I was talking to uh, a guy in chat who happens to be someone I've killed a couple times at Ghostful Town. But uh, anyway, he's another solo, and uh, he wants to help me raid uh, the biggest group on the server if possible. He's uh, semi newer, so he's never done a raid like that, but he says he's got some money and some explosives saved up. So uh, now I'm just in uh, really hardcore grind mode. Uh, I thought I was going to have to do it by myself, but now, now it seems like I got someone helping me. Door camped. So I apologize for that, man. <laughs> Got on today, and I was like, I have to spawn on the beach. God damn it. <laughs> so yeah, I made a killing, uh, selling all that stuff, and then I always make sure to collect the vending machines and recycle them, because that's a really easy way to get high qual. Alright, we did all that. Let's get that home, alright? Uh, I, I think I got even more stuff to sell again. Lots of trinkets from fun in the coastal town. I wonder how much money I've made from so much stuff in this game in general so far. It's too bad it doesn't keep track of that total. Okay, so I went and sold that stuff. Alright, we bring that back home. Every dollar right now is even more important. Do you guys understand, right? I was very rich, now I'm like kind of trying to build back up to anything, you know? So let's go get even more stuff from that other uh, coastal town base and let's bring it back to sell it again. Alright, I sell the last of that crap for not that much, but I need some sheet metal for the main base. I need to start making these walls metal again instead of stone, just that way I feel a little bit more comfortable going overnight, you know what I mean? I had to replace my bed and uh, bring the PC to replace that also. Lots of stuff to do. As you can see, I'm not exactly poor anymore. I got 50 grand in my TC again already. Now we can get this fire started up again. We need to pay for this upkeep somehow. Here we are doing the TC upgrade yet again, just so I can upgrade the walls of metal quickly here. So yeah, this is where they blew in, obviously. Let's just make this as sturdy as possible up there. There we go, that's quite a bit safer now. Okay, let's go do those couple outside pieces too. Okay, this really isn't so bad. After we do this, pretty much exactly where we were before we got raided, um, base-wise. I got to do the little upgrade to upgrade, what, one or two walls to armor again. That's about it. That's not even that expensive. And yeah, we already got 50 grand in the base again, a full bank account. Uh, and we got a friend. That's important, guys. That is it for day seven, guys. What an interesting day. Um, hopefully we make it through the night. What a wonderful morning. How are you all doing this fine day? So, just another time heading over to the suburbs to hit another lock crate. Seeing if anything happens. So I creep up, and I'm in the bushes, you know, doing my usual thing, and uh, I hang around. I, I don't see anybody for a you know, long time. And there's dead zombies around. I'm just going to wait till it opens, I guess.
My gun just broke, and I just got shot by somebody else that's here. I don't know how, but I got to get the hell out of here. Alright, I managed to get home to get a new gun. I hop in the car, I come back. This guy's driving off to, but I'm trying to catch him, and he seems long gone. I don't think that was him. I think that's the other guy. Remember how there was a guy in the car and a guy shot me? And I walked around and picked up some random drugs and stuff before I started heading back home here. I had to log off for a bit, but I uh, came back, and as soon as I did, there's another lock crate at that suburb. It's crazy. They don't spawn like that on the other half of the map. I'm telling you, they come down here every time. So I start that crate, and I go off west uh, looking for more plants and stuff like that. It gets very dark very quickly, if you haven't noticed. I noticed this base while I'm uh, grabbing stuff and it wasn't there before. It's uh, just on the other side of the outpost from me on the other mountain. Uh, this wouldn't be too hard of a raid either. But uh, I'm really committed to saving up everything for that trio. I'm going to need every penny. Uh, for now, yeah, I'm not doing it. Okay, we come back for that lock crate finally, and it's one of the best crates you can get. Two C4 is huge, that's at least 23 grand. So we went and ran and depoted that instantly, and then I'm off to the coastal town. I am on the hunt for Manu. Alright, we did that, we depoed that, I decided I'm gonna go rob the Lazarus Bank. What do you guys think about that? Go, horsey, go! Alright, we're in. Are you guys ready? Let's blow this sucker open. Okay, let's start this crate quick. It makes a lot of noise and what have you, but uh, I just wanted to kill all the zombies for animal meds and guns, whatever I could here while I was building. Nobody's coming. Are they? Are they? All right, we got the loot. We got a piece. So I took my bank vault heist loot and I uh, went home, grabbed anything else I could from the base, and then we went to Opos to sell that. So I think we ended up getting about 40k. Uh, that's awesome. I'm gonna put as much as I can in my bank account. My max is up to 30k now, which is awesome. All right, let's get that back home. And uh, now you can see uh, I got 80 Gs, and uh, I'm starting to build up a little bit of boom again. Still got some work to do though. We did all that. We went out. Now it's time to run coastal town again. Do that for a little while until uh, until another lock crate drops over at the mansion to the northeast in the desert. So we go to that. Good thing I'm keeping track of all the lock crates in the top left of the screen, eh? Along with kills, deaths, raids done, zombies killed, times raided, all the time. Right, guys? Now you can see how much work I've been putting into these log crates. It's one of the reasons why I got so rich, too, right? 
All right, so we got 80 grand in the TC. We got 30 grand in the ATM. We got another 15 grand in level bonuses. Plus we got rockets and C4 in a level bonus. Plus we got a couple rockets and C4 right now. We are getting up there again. I really, really don't seem to have a problem getting like a full inventory of rocks and uh, plants here. There's a really good area next to my base. Uh, it's just like always refreshes itself, it seems like. Alright, you know what I gotta do. I gotta take these to the coastal town to process them. Let's do that. the magic of editing, not having to stand there. Okay, we had some fun driving home. Put that away, and we have some parachutes from a raid earlier, so uh, one of my quests says jump off a building with a parachute. Let's do it. Kind of cool, kind of weird. I don't know if I pressed the button or it did it itself. Alright, now that we've processed all that, I took an outpost to sell with anything else I had. Okay, we made 10k, and then we got all the drugs in the backpack, open that up, sell that, I have guns in there too. Alright, another 9 something from all that stuff. Here comes the big money. Man, that's another 40 altogether. Holy. Damn, 121k. I bounced back quick, didn't I? Plus the ATM's full, plus the love rewards. Alright, off to hit another lock crate. And get up there near the mansion. And uh, let's start it. And I'm heading home. And I remember that the admin said something to me about... Uh, feeling bad about banning me and then getting raided because of basically an over-exaggeration. I wait out the crate, come back and get it. It's meh again. Okay, we take that home, we depot it, and then I marked the spot on my map that there was a plane crash a little while ago. Um, and I kind of think it's been a little while, but I remember that they actually lay on the map for a very long time. And lo and behold, here they are. Not too bad. A little bit of free gear. Nice. I always seem to get a rocket in these things lately. Ah, uh, and a third crate. See? This is what I've been talking about. So here I am, hitting some wood, just trying to keep the furnaces going, trying to stay busy, and I get a message from the admin that I had just messaged previously. He says to check my inventory. And what do I get? A cool 50 G's, guys. That's awesome. Now, I definitely lost more than 50 G's when I got offline because of him, him banning me, but this is a nice way to make up for it. Let's just say that. Wow, so not only did I smash a bunch of wood, but look at that. We're sitting at 171,000! <clears throat> Another lock crate in the suburb. You know it. I knew I could hear a vehicle. Now I just gotta wait for the right moment so I don't waste my bullets on the glass. Well, that worked really good. You pulled up right in front of me and went so slow. Alright, he already started it. I guess we'll come back. And 
Alright, seems quiet in here. Hey, not too bad. Rocket and a turret. I like that. Okay, now I need to do something different. Uh, I wanted to explore it a little bit different uh, spot, see if there's any new bases popping up. I don't know why. I'm pretty committed to raiding one thing, but I uh, found this decayed base or raid base or whatever. Picked some uh, bones from that. Um, you know, found a bunch of little random stuff. A bunch of cool little trinket sacks. Not too bad. At least made my my journey kind of worth it, right? And then uh, yeah, we just found some other dude's base out here. Not too bad, but you know, not really big enough to uh, have anything to do with those guys. I want to pay back. That's for sure. Okay, we bring home the leftovers from the decayed base and uh, I decide to F1 kill and uh, spawn on the coast. Uh, this trio's base is right there, right in the noob spawn area, right next to an outpost, so it'll be easy for me to basically just show up there and uh, let's do some scouting, you know? Awesome. The first time I literally spawned like a score and a half away from their base. Great. Wow, that's definitely their base for sure. Okay, it's uh, got a big china wall. That's pretty tough. This is very impressive considering uh, the server we're on, right? Um, yeah, there's a lot of turrets in there, especially I've been told. Um, yeah, okay. It's gonna be crazy expensive no matter what. I bet you just got at least a couple layers of armored walls in there. It's, uh, I don't know if you can notice, it's pretty damn juiced. All right, well, we need every penny we can get, so let's process this stuff. All right, we're done. Let's go home, get some more stuff from the base. Let's go sell it. Sometimes the video seems to get really sluggish towards the end of the recording. I'm not sure why. Uh, it has a hard time converting the file length or something like that. Sorry, guys. I'll try to take more shorter videos next time. All that we got 35,800, which is crazy, man. My stack is getting unreal. Okay, I got a log pretty soon. It's getting late, guys, but uh, I really want to smash as much as I can. I'm gonna stay up a little bit. I'm gonna go grind uh, coastal town at least one more time here. Did that, went back to the outpost right away, sold it all. Alright, obviously went home depot that. Now we're back out on the grind. We're looking for plants again. Alright, I was a herbologist for a little bit longer. I was out in the forest playing with nature, eating mushrooms. Now we're getting back to the base. Yeah, I just put all that stuff away. Uh, I read that if I put a flame turret down, that'll help me with our quest line, so I do that. And uh, then it's time to just pack up shop for the night, and uh, let's really hope we don't get raided, because I've got more cash than ever sitting in my TC right now. Day 9. Alive. Not raided. Mucho Richo. For sure. -o. So the plan is to grind for just a little bit more and uh, then we're gonna check these guys out see if they're online. It's gonna be pretty hard to raid that online so I think the timeline of when they go offline is just gonna be perfect for me tonight. Let's hope that they stay offline long enough for us to finish. And when I say us, I mean I have that buddy that we were talking about. I killed him a couple times in, uh, in the coastal town there running around randomly over the last few days but uh, 
he doesn't care. He's a good guy. He's a good sport, and uh, he wants to uh, come with me and uh, throw his boom boom in the pile. So let's uh, let's try and get this done today. All right, we already ran coastal town. We started the crate, he put everything, came back, opened the crate. Done another big run. Let's go get it all together, sell all that stuff, add it to the pile of cash. I think I'm really close to the cash I need now, so just send them a message and we're gonna figure this out. So while I'm waiting on response, I'm not sitting on my thumbs. I am processing plants. We are at the same usual stuff we're doing every day. And it wasn't long till I got a response. I was just explaining to him my idea. Uh, he seems like he's okay with it. So uh, that's what we're gonna try, I think, when we get started. I think their little design that they think they're gonna be able to hold their compound with uh, in a big raid is actually gonna help me get into their base without having to deal with any of their turrets. I'm just gonna try to blow in there and I'll just use that little shooting floor plus sign thing as like a direct tunnel into the base. All right, let's get that stuff home, and once I do, let's get everything I can on my body. In the backpack, okay, so I'll make as much money as we can. I need every single. Okay, yeah, that was another good run, man. 35 teams all together. We're making some big leaps and bounds here. Oh, look who it is. Oh, and what an excellent pilot. Uh, I probably need about... I probably need about 30 minutes and then I can help. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, why don't you invite me? Alright, sounds good. So we met up, we had a plan, we had a time. I had 30 minutes to an hour to grind my ass off, so you best believe if I was out there hitting lock crates, baby. Now it's feeling real greedy, and that wasn't even close to enough, so I figured I'd go rob the bank too. Okay, no time like the present. Let's get her done. All right, so we get in there and we start that crate. And not only am I starting the bank heist, I am gonna drive all the way back to Pilsel Town to get that box crate and then come back to get this one. I am on the ball. I wish every lock crate was two, three, four. Okay, so my base is between here and the bank. We depot everything on the way and right back to the bank. I was really careful and just took my time, crept in just to be sure. And after all that, nobody even here. waiting for someone to pop their head around the corner, but it doesn't happen. I was waiting. I figured I'd just take this to outpost really quick since it's so close to my base. 19k for, you know, 15 minutes work. That's not bad. Okay, I still got all kinds of loot to sell at the base. I know it seems like it's never ending, but I also ran close to time probably million times.
And after all said and done, made a good 30 G's again. Just raking it in. Uh, thought I'd just spend it right away by a couple C4 in the rocket. So if you're still watching at this point, you might not believe it, but the time has come. Now I, uh, I head over there. I get all my stuff packed up, and uh, I'm going to go take out the flares and the wall around their little base uh, before I infiltrate their china wall. So just use a bunch of incendiary ammo. the raid base now we are moving along nicely towards my revenge i didn't know they had all these metal barricades in here uh separating the wood wall from the china wall so that's a slight different thing to look at but whatever let's set up the raid base let's uh, set up electricity and our turret in there too decided to bring the car down here and uh, push it next to the wall just so I could hop onto the ladder a little easier and uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think this works pretty good. Alright, let's pop over there and hopefully not get stuck on that next time. Uh, work our way up here. If I place this, it'll be easier to get a ladder down. Sorry, I'm gonna have to mute the audio. The guys I'm raiding are playing uh, copyrighted music on a loudspeaker over the bass, like really loud. So uh, just so they don't uh, cut this whole part of the video out of my, uh, you know, little story here, uh, I'm gonna have to mute the music. My plan was to go right over the top if that worked, uh, instead of trying to break in just to save explosives. Uh, I think I would just break these uh, barricades and go right over the plus sign as it were. Uh, I was kind of worried about the turrets though. Okay, yeah, right here, let's blow this and try to go straight over. Alright, moment of truth. Will I be able to walk to the wall? Damn, that was close. Uh, that's okay, that was the first try. The second is that we're going to actually blow into the shooting part of the China wall at the very top. And we'll see how that goes, it's just slightly more expensive. Actually, I think it would have been the same cost of doing that barricade. This has got to be one of the most fun things to do. I don't know why. It's just buying stuff with paper money, but saving that all for so long, $268,000. You guys think that I'll have enough to get in and find all their loot or not? So after all that, I ended up with 24 rockets and 14 C4. Uh, not too bad. We definitely got enough to put a dent in their base now. Plus I got the money in my ATM still, which is another 30 grand. All right, we're back. We got all the boom boom we'll need for a bit. Um, still, our friend hasn't showed up, but he's getting ready. He's just taking his sweet time. Let's see what we can get done before he shows up. My biggest question is when we hop in here, am I going to get lit from turrets? Looks okay. We're just going to blow this one more door to find out. Okay. 
What's gonna happen? Okay, not getting shot. Not getting shot. I think this is gonna be the way. If all this door goes to the core, let's follow it. Account him. All right, what do we have now? That's good, another door going towards the core. Just keep hitting that. Sorry again about the no game audio. Uh, they're just pumping radio music in here right now through the speakers in game, so I had to mute it all. Pretty soon I realized I can go into the menu in the audio and I could just turn off uh, the game sounds and stuff like that that way, so I'll have game audio again here soon. Just a little slow, okay guys? So this is exactly what I want to see, is uh, garage doors just heading straight to the core. That's the cheapest thing I could possibly see right now. And behind that armored wall, I see a garage door. Let's break that real quick. Wow, a farm. Okay, interesting. I uh, just wanted to put down some uh, some tiles here so I didn't fall in and get stuck. Make them away downtown. That's a pretty good first sign that these guys are very loaded. That in their base, you know. Ouch, that turret's annoying. Um, so I kind of open this little thing up and I'm starting to get kitted up and the uh, turret finds me again, super annoying, so yeah, it's gotta go. Oh my gosh, that is so much better. You have no idea how annoying that was. I added most of it up for you, but it was so loud. I can't believe that's all I had to do. Alright, now finally with that turret dealt with, I'm in, and uh, my friend that showed up, Emok, is here. I'm just a little hesitant to run in there, I'm assuming there's more than one turret, but it turns out there isn't, and uh, we're just surprised that he's got such a big farm in here. So uh, we're just looking around, and uh, we start looking for easy ways to uh, go, start trying to uh, figure out where the loot is. All right, so that's gone. Now we're just like kind of sussing out all our options here. Up and down, left and right. Decide that ladder hatch going down is pretty easy to break. Let's try that. So we break that ladder hatch, there's an armored door wide open, that seems like a good sign, or at least a little bit of luck. After looking at this for a minute, I decide it's not worth going all the way around the base. Figure these uh, garage doors run like a big ring, just might as well st blow straight in. Alright, interesting. We got garage door, armored door, and there's a turret on yeah, each side. That sounds real good. So I'm going to splash the door, hopefully hit a bit of the turret at the same time here. Some, something, bro something broke. Nice. Now we can see if the TC's in this room or not. Alright, this is definitely some big bedroom. I don't know if the TC's behind this door or not though, I can't really tell. Yeah, the, there's another turret around that corner around that corner to the left. I tried 
but loaded an instant back. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> We've already used a lot of boom, like this wall of mine, so uh, yeah, we uh, are dipping into the redemption points or the RP points here, and I'm gonna get as many crates as I can. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I was gonna say is I've got 9,000 RP I can use to open crates too. Holy shit, 9k is a lot. I don't think I've had that the whole life. Right. I think I had maybe 8. Never mind. So, the shop uh, there was no TC oh, down there. That. Uh, that was a giant waste of explosives. There was nothing down here but kits and beds, uh, which I guess is good to get rid of, but not what we're looking for. The RP crate system's kind of hit or miss. You know, I got a C4 there. That was okay, but other than that, just really a big waste. My in my inventory is full, so I'm worried about if we break these. Uh, I don't want stuff to despawn if there's anything good. So just FYI. So after a little discussion there, I make an executive decision and decide that we need to go up from where we came in on that like right, uh, plant like right here on this floor, pillar on the farm floor. And uh, is that what you're thinking? Like right a there, spot, and uh, we just basically just drill upwards from there. Okay. How close are we? About halfway. You know what? Right. Let's just send some C4 at this, speed this up a bit. A couple satchels should finish this off. So at first it almost looks like the ceiling didn't blow, but what they've done is they've uh, double ceilinged the guy who built this, it's actually two separate bases or, you know, even more all put together so that they overlap each other. Some kind of building trick. That prick. Alright, I got the catcher ready. Both of us are running a little low on Boom Boom already. We're going to take all the kits we got from them, we're going to go sell it, and get the money from my ATM, and I'm going to buy as much as I can. Yeah, I've got my ATM and all my uh, XP, which is about like another 40,000, I think. We have enough on us right now just to get the C4. Alright, we got 21k plus my 30,000 in the bank. Not too bad. Alright, so he bought 8 C4 and I'll buy 7 rockets and let's get back in there and see what we can find. Alright, we're in and uh, he just 6 or 7 c 4 that uh, armored ceiling. Uh, we're going to go finish that off with the launcher. All right, it's broken, and I see colors. Dude, I think we found something really good here. This this looks like it's gonna be very promising. I'm just like marveling in awe before I put my ladder up there here. 
Yeah, you see what all that stuff is? It's moving their loot around. See that? Surprised there's no turret in this room. This seems like this main room for them, obviously. But what door to break first? Garage door? Double armor? Or single armor? I'm trying to come up with an in intelligent thought. Yeah, see, look at this. Look at this small door right here. I kind of think there's going to be loot behind every door, so I can't wait to get started. why communication is important kids all right so those doors are open and it looks like both loot rooms you just gotta unlock everything you know yeah i think this is yeah i think this is it but yeah yeah all right well he opens boxes i'm gonna blow the other doors can resist checking while i reload not bad Hey, hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at this one I just broke. Comps? That's a spicy component box. Yep, terminal. Alright, that's broke. We got loot. Coffins. Oh, we got TC. Oh, here, 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 here he is. Sleep, sleeper, baby. Dude, don't 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 kill him yet. Don't kill him yet. Just leave him there until we get done moving some more loot. In case, in case his Rust Plus pings him when he dies, don't do it. Look at the rockets! Oh man, that's so much money. Doesn't even matter what happens now if they woke up right now. Big hole in their base. All their explosives gone. Oh, bro, loving it. Sure. I'm filling a I'm filling a donor backpack with the rockets. Oh my gosh, these backpacks are full of AKs too. This is hilarious. I'm going to have a full inventory of AKs to sell, plus a backpack. Nice, M2s, LRs. Can't sell those, but I can sell gunpowder and explosives though. Okay, off to sell our second batch of goods. Our first real good batch. Oh, just around eighty-five thousand. No big deal. Let's uh, let's toss thirty of that in my uh, ATM, max it out, and uh, yeah. We decide it's better. He takes most of the rockets and hides them at one of his bases. Uh, obviously, we're gonna keep exploding stuff, but uh, let's get the majority of that boom away for their base. That way, they can't just take it back if they came online. I go back in, I fill up on some more AKs, and I find a whole bunch of HE nades too, so I'm like, damn, I gotta get those out of here too. So BMOC's still uh, moving his stuff around. Uh, it's taking a little bit of time there just to send rockets home, but uh, anyway, I'm just gonna go sell stuff solo by myself right now. Keep ferrying the cash back to the raid base. Another seventy three thousand. That's getting this is getting crazy, guys. Here we go, back in for more, cause I ain't done yet. Damn, there's so many lock boxes we haven't even opened yet. Another backpack of good AKs with like attachments on too. Wow. Ok, 
Okay, go toss that in the raid base. Okay, then get back inside. Look at th look at this one I just broke. Actually, wow, that is crazy, especially with this server, man. Unreal. else ridiculous nope it's good but not ridiculous yeah, these ones are kits and hazmats now all this i call would have probably been better served to like you know crazy beef up my base or something but at this point i don't really care about my base i just want to fuck them over as much as i can so I don't want to give them any chance of getting it back from me in any way, so let's just sell it all. It actually didn't sell for quite as much as I thought. It's like four or five times more expensive to buy than to sell, so, uh, you know, just a quick 32 Gs. All right, what else can we siphon from this place? I guess we're roaming M2 the rest of the way. What's that? A whole bunch of what? Yeah, that's cool. I have to figure something like that. Uh, uh, face masks and chest plate. All right, guns and components all together went for just under 54k. Let's add it to the tally. So we either looted everything in that main room or we don't really care about it enough. It's time to blow open the side doors. It's kind of nice by accident we shut off some of the power so there's not so many turrets bothering us. Okay, so we're breaking this little bedroom and uh, I look out the window and I see coffins. A lot of coffins. I'm thinking it's too bad we can't place a new TC down. We're uh, building block by the other TCs. But we can just splash this door that we want to break and the window anyway. You have the ladder? Yes, sir. Oh, cool, cool. Thanks, thanks, man. Let's find out what we got here. Holy shit, look at this one. Wow, that's pretty nice for sure. This backpack is full of incense. LOL, oh, well, so is this one. Nice. This one's full of HV, though. So much loot. Alright, not all the turrets are off. Alright, so that one's gone. But we got one on the other side still. All right, let me start shooting down there. I'll be able to see it better when these lockers are out of the way.
Uh, looks exactly mirrored on the other side. I'll just keep going. Nice, yeah, it was mirrored. Another loot room. Yep. Holy crap, dude. There's so much here. No doubt. Look at the light of coffins, my man. Still another <laughs> turret down there, though, too. Alright, give me one more. Alright, he wants to go deal with it. Fine. I'll check out the loot. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Look at the nails, man. Here you go, buddy. Good work, turret destroyer. Alright, there's one more turret down there. If you go to your left, there's one more turret, so be careful. Thank you, sir. Okay, taking another inventory they'll post to sell. Together we did another 53. Adding that up on my notepad here. Oh, I was doing that. He was breaking boxes. So look at all the cool stuff we're finding still. And another box of guns. Man. Well, let's uh these uh, things around the corner here so that we can be done with them. Easy there, easy there. Let me break them. All these are metal. And after all that, what did we get? These two right here are all Metal Gear. Dude, it's sinking through the floor. That's funny. Because of the double floor. Look, it's slowly sinking. Look at that. Oh, it's gone. Oh. It's down here. It's down here on the planter box. So far after all that, we only found the one oh, sleeper. But more. now's the time I'm going to kill him and break the TC. Yeah, that's true, but I think we pretty much got everything. There's a lot of bedrooms, so that's probably what it is. Alright, so you can see my inventory, just grab another full load of guns and taking it out. Your mic your mic's breaking up, I can't hear you. Hey, I grabbed I grabbed a donator out of this uh, casket right here to try to fill it up. It's full of LRs. We did it, man. I got my revenge. I took everything from them. When they wake up in the morning, they're gonna be so, so mad. Anything we didn't take is gonna be despawned. The base is gonna be falling apart. This is Crazy yeah, totally, good. Totally I could totally. ask for a better outcome than this. Did you like my plan to use uh, their design against them to bypass all those turrets? Yeah, yeah, dude, that was that was really really smart. I'm just glad it worked.
see what I put in the chat. All right, that was a lot of back and forth, but we made another 55 there. Awesome. Back. I put all that cash with the rest of it. it. Looks like we got about 330k stack there in the base. Uh, I don't even think there's any wood in it. I don't see any thought we were done. I'm gonna sell everything that's sellable, man. Some of this stuff's worth 500, 600, 1,000 bucks a pop, right? Lots of money to make, so. It was, it was smart to go up through those floors, man. Imagine if we kept going around in circles down below. Yeah, you, can, you gotta be careful. Sold all that, made another 41k. Head back. Sent 470 now in the PC. It was like probably three or four in the morning my time. Uh, I was getting pretty tired at this point. Uh, we'd made our point too. I didn't really need the loot either, so I just wanted to get one more load out of there, and uh, I was gonna probably take off. I'm full too. All right, we made another what 38 and a half from that. That's not too bad. That's the last one though for me. Let's take it back, put it in the TC. All right, with that we are just shy of 550,000 bucks. So Emok was incredibly generous, he was going to stay and pull out even more loot, so he gave me a bunch of cash. You can see what I uh, take here, uh, he kept all the rockets, so um, yeah, this is what I took home. Talk about an easy raid, hey? <laughs> Did you say easy raid? <laughs> yeah, that was epic. I, it's definitely, yeah, definitely the biggest one I've ever done. My friend here uh, offers me his chauffeur services and uh, starts uh, flying me home before he continues uh, pilfering and stealing from these guys. Hopefully he won't leave a crumb for them. Uh, it's been fun guys. This is, uh, this is the end of the wipe for me though. Um, there's not much more point in playing. We're the biggest group on the server. Um, if they do get back online I guarantee you they're going to offline my base so I'm not going to leave anything in my base. I, you know, kind of stash this in one of my little tiny bases out in the middle of nowhere. So I actually did log in the next day to find my base offline. So I am glad that I moved everything. They never got any of it. Um, and I was trash talking them pretty good. They I honestly tried to say that they weren't bothered by any of it at all and it wasn't even a little bit of their loot. Uh, just made it seem like it was nothing to them what we did and we laughed just so hard that you know they thought they were invincible and talked all this shit and then obviously fucked them up pretty big i want to thank bmock too my buddy if it wasn't for you we never would have been able to do that my man thank you for being such a good grinder and a good sport it's really a great way to end the wipe getting flown home like this at the end of the night uh very cinematic you know a great end of the video I gotta thank everybody if you made it this far for watching. Really, really appreciate it. 
if you guys did make it this far and you haven't hit that like button or subscribe to me yet on the channel, like, what's going on? Uh, this took me, like, over a hundred hours to edit easily, easily, so show that love. It's just, it's just a crazy amount of time to do this, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Take care, everyone. Thanks again. Really appreciate it.